I'm going into London today because I'm going to a pretty little thing event. <laughs> oh my god. We're seeing Mia and we're going shopping together in London and we're going to have a blank sheet coffee and now we're going to do this our whole day. So I thought I'd give you a little behind the scenes because it was like a trick world cosmetics pretty little thing event. Look at how cute. <laughs> How cool is that? A kinder selection box is everything I need in my life. Hello! Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly vlog which I am so excited about. We're actually starting this week, well, we're starting this weekly vlog on Saturday but we're going to pretend it's Wednesday today because I didn't have time on Wednesday to film an intro so I thought I would do it today and put on the same outfit that I wore on Wednesday so that it looks like it's Wednesday but I've actually just told you it's Saturday. But basically I went into London with Mia on Wednesday and I was planning on filming a whole separate video a come shop with me and then I'm not going to spoil the clips you'll see in a second but long story short I didn't end up filming a whole dedicated come shop with me but I didn't want to like not do anything with the vlog clips so I thought I would chuck them into this week's weekly vlog so we're going to go on to Wednesday in a second then we're going to go on to Saturday and we're starting the weekly vlog on a Saturday which also is a bit of a weird day to start a weekly vlog but it's less weird than Wednesday does that make sense anyway let's just pretend it's Wednesday for a second this is my outfit of the day I absolutely love this outfit I'm obsessed with it the blade it's is from a pretty little thing the top is from zara but oh my god look at the state of this top at the moment i'll get onto that in a second i'll talk to you about that in a minute actually i'll talk to you about it now basically this is a little like um zara vest top i live in these tops i have them in like so many different colors and i love them i wore this on wednesday um and then i put it in the wash and yesterday when i put it in the wash the washing machine has literally ripped open my top it has literally eaten my top and the best bit about it is wednesday was the first day i wore this so this was actually brand new i mean it looks all right from the front but let me just take this off a second so you can see oh you can't really see because it's all tucked in let me just tuck it out a second oh you can't i don't know how you can see because it's white on white it's literally been ripped to shreds it looks like a dog has mauled it so that's the end of that top i need to rebuy it which is a very expensive cost per wear top it was only like 11.99 but cost per wear being only once that's not great and then my trousers are from sundar bay i actually got these off vintage they're normally like 100 pound plus these trousers and i've been looking for them for ages on vintage i think i got them for like 20 pound or 30 pound i love them and then these shoes are um from boohoo and they're like ugg dupes and i love them and then the bag that i wore is this little jelly cat coffee cup bag which is so flipping cute i was meant to wear it like this because it looks better but i kept wearing it like this so nobody pickpocketed me but it doesn't look as cute like this but safety first so this is wednesday's outfit and i met up with mia and we went to london and we went to a pretty little thing event and i'm going to insert the clips in here um and you can see that okay cool good morning good morning we are with Mia, we are heading to Drudge. I feel like I'm repeating myself, but I'm not, because you've just done, I haven't yes. said anything. Right. Um, but yeah, we're going to Drudge now for some, for some brunch. I'm actually so hungry. Well, I'm in a bit of sun, are you? Yeah, I, I brought sunglasses really for a picture, but not for it's actually for wearing, wearing. So that's a shit, I'll put them on anyway. Um, I'm just telling my vlog, Georgie always makes me feel very pale. Oh, yeah, I realise. I'm actually like the more tanned person, whereas you make me feel Yeah, when I heard the two pale. back, oh, um, Foss Park thing, I was like, Oh my god, I look orange. So today I did try and be a bit lighter on the bronzer, but I just can't help myself. No, it just goes crazy. Yeah, I just can't help it. So, it loves it. what can I say? But we're, oh, I think we're turning right left. Here. left. Did you say right? I said right, right, but I meant left. Right. <laughs> the tourist guy isn't very good at end. No, okay. I'm taking tour guide role today, which I don't normally take in London. She's but been giving tourist guide yeah. role, but she's actually she's not, not very good at it. <laughs> Anybody else with me would be like, you are not being the tour guide. So, oh, yeah. Well, I'm, I don't have a choice. Here. Yeah, we've got, we've got no choice. But we've got a very lack of experience as someone who never knows where they are. Here, so I think the curtain to... bangs are already going to go because the curtain bangs aren't really curtain banging. Are they anyway, here? yeah, they are. Uh, I think we should be. Oh, oh my god, blinded. This is what we like. I, I think we should be. Let me check them out. Oh, look at how cute. Oh my god, that's so. We've made it. Look at how cute. It's all Halloween. I think so. Oh, do you know, a second ago. <laughs> We were saying, and you said the tour guide not, was shit. Um, we meant yeah, <laughs> the tour guide is not good. We went to the drunch in Mayfair, not Oxford Circus. Not yeah. well. I'm not sure how I've managed that. I'm just not very good. So now we've got a very fast walk to get to drunch in Oxford Circus before our booking yeah. charges us. So I mean, it's not the vibe. The sun is coming out though. Yes, sorry. So we love that. That's what we're looking for. Right, green light. Let's go. <laughs> Guess what? <laughs> we made it. We power. Up. We, you it's deserve that very tight. Yeah. She's got the going on a tight bag. See, I do. Yeah, I like it. Are you it, warming but... or not? Am I warm? A warming. Oh. Mm. She wasn't a fan when I last spoke. No. I really like, like the pink. I like it, but I'd rather spend money on another bag. 
I think, for the pink be a game changer. Yeah, I think, but they, I've been looking on TikTok, I'm trying to talk quick to the music. Um, <laughs> they, um, apparently they do a lot of really good fake ones just over in London. So if we oh, see really? a pink fake okay. one, I'm we'll have a look. Have okay. Um, but yeah, we managed to get here within the 50 minute grace period. So thank God for that. And we're right by the Pretty Little Thing showroom, which is where we've come. So that's perfect. Um, I, I was going to tell you what we've ordered, but let's wait till Yeah, yeah. It's a surprise. It's a surprise. You'll see it in our two seconds I hope anyway. She's nice. Me too. When she said, oh, it's already made, I thought, is that not going to be fresh? We're not putting that in the blender right now, or are we yeah, just getting out of the fridge? <laughs> I love that lighting. Imagine. Imagine if it's just don't we're not done we'll see. Be lovely. oh my god i'm blind well, we got we got one hot coffee and then an iced vanilla latte to share because we wanted to get a hot one so you could get we're so basic <laughs> we got it hurts, it look at how nice though i love the glass oh, it's it like double feels, walled isn't yeah, it yeah it feels nice so that is our drinks and i'll show you the food in a second <laughs> this is what we got we got an acai bowl mia got um strawberry french toast with no french toast with nutella and strawberries which i was gonna get but i've got Going for last name, but I don't know if I regret my decision, I'll be honest. But little double vlog going on. Woo! Kisses! <laughs> okay, brunch has been had. We are now, we're actually really What would you rate brunch? I would. It was nice, the service was long. Yeah, the service was long. But took they had forgot us. So I would say seven or an eight out of ten. But the food wasn't the best I'd ever had. No. It, in like it was okay, but like I wouldn't I wouldn't go back. For 20 quid each, what would you think? It cost us like mm. 43 pounds altogether. Yeah. Like. Um, and that was like two breakfasts, two drinks. Yeah, it was okay, but like I'd maybe go, but not like again. If you haven't been, yeah, <laughs> maybe, like, maybe go, go for the aesthetic. Like it is got and it's yeah. cute, like autumn leaves, but but yeah. Oh god, I'm scared. Oh shit, we're here. We made it to the pretty little thing showroom. <laughs> I don't want to go <laughs> Which is what we've come for. We've come to go to a pretty little thing event. I've been to an event on my own before, and it was scary. So I'm so glad I've got Mia, but I'm still really nervous. But I've got social anxiety, so I don't normally come in. The heart rate is going. We've come for like a pretty little thing X Trigwell Cosmetics event. Should we go? I'm nervous to you. I'm really scared. Do you want to intro your vlog and then we'll go? To look round. My hands are so shaky. I'm so sorry if any of these vlog clips are like this. Don't look how cute the cookies are though. We've made it in. They're so cute. I'm scared. <laughs> so cosmetic stuff though. Hello. We are deciding what we want and don't want to do. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Good. We're in Primark and we found the new super soft um, pajamas. They're so nice. Let me just show you. They've got like a chocolate. That's it over there. There's like a little two piece. There's a chocolate. This is the dressing gown. It is so nice. I was so tempted by the chocolate dressing gown. And then they've got like bottoms, like long bottoms and a shirt. They are so nice. Do they? Pajamas with pockets. Yeah. <gasps> Game they're such a nice like I don't even know how to explain it. It's like velvety. Yeah, it is. But like nice velvet. This is the situation. This is why we can't vlog. We've got three you know baskets. What I feel rough it's, we like are it. ravenous. We are tired. We I'm are leaking blood. <laughs> <laughs> That's our Primark stuff. This is all our pretty little thing stuff. We had to hunt for these wheelie really things rough. as well. We are we knackered. Can't eat it. I'm, it's really I, I feel dead. All of it is an SAE bowl. Can't touch the sides. 
Honestly, this is why I can't vlog much. I was going to film a whole come short with me, but it's just not happening. This is the little set. So I've just picked up the chocolate dressing bag. That is the dressing gown. I don't know if it's too long. And then they've, like, that's a little pajama set. They've got it in a few colours. Beige dressing gown. And look at how cute this one is over here. I love it. I feel like an absolute shell of the woman that I was this morning. We are knackered. Carrying these bags around. I know we're being dramatic, but carrying these bags around, all of these and stuff. It's exhausting. We were going to do like a whole comp shop with me, but we ran out of time. We also would not have been able to vlog with like um, the bags. It was just too much. So we're going to come back and do a whole separate comp shop with me. I'm really sorry to let you down, but I did get this. I got this like too good to go thing with crumbs and doilies, which is like cupcake gemma. I don't know if anyone will know what I'm talking about, but I got this too good to go bag. It was the last one and I've been wanting to get it for ages when I've come to London. So I thought we could open it together because I've not even had time to look at it yet. We're just at um, Blank Street. Me is just getting a matcha. I'm too tired to even want a drink, so I thought we could open it. Oh, wow, look. I mean, I was hoping for a bit more variety other than just all cupcakes, but they're so cute. They're all like little Halloween cupcakes. I was hoping for like cookies and stuff because they had some really nice stuff in there. I did show you some clips, but even the little, like, the little chocolate R.O.P. cupcakes are so cute. I mean, I'm quite happy with that. I would rather have got a variety, like I said, but that's not a bad... I've never really done a too good to go bag. That's my first one, but that was pretty successful. When Mia comes out with her mattress, I'll give her, get her to give you a taste test. But yeah, carrying this around, I'm sorry guys, it's just been too much. Let me show you what we got from Trigwell, because it was like a Trigwell Cosmetics Pretty Little Thing event. So we picked some bits out from Pretty Little Thing, which I'll show you. And then from Trigwell, we got a whole makeup brush set. Oh my gosh, I haven't even looked at this properly yet. They just talked us through it. You can kind of see the makeup brushes in there, in like this little bag. Oh, we've got a little cookie in there, which I'm going to eat on the train. One of the, like, the cookies I showed you. We made friends with one of the girls there, so she even got us a little blush. True Grail Cosmetics blush. That looks so nice. And then we got... How is it? Have you tried it? Not yet. Okay. Taste it. Yeah. Mm. Nice. Really? I let me try it. Okay. I don't like matcha, but I'm, I'm going to give it a try. It still has that fishy taste to me. Fish? It's nicer than the Starbucks one, but I can drink the whole one. Is that just the plain one, not the blue? That's vanilla. Oh, like, yeah, but not the blue. Not blue, but apparently okay. the blue tastes like a blueberry muffin. Okay, we'll get that next time. Okay. We're gonna do, like, next time we come, I was just yeah. saying to them, we're gonna, we were a bit disheveled <laughs> so We are that. the shell of a woman that we were this morning. I feel rough. I feel so knackered. The, the period pain is sore. We're gonna come back, we're gonna do a proper come shot with me, yeah. we'll take you all with us, and it'll all be fine. Yeah. Yeah, they were definitely watching me. Absolutely, 100%. <laughs> um, then we also got, I'm just giving them a little Trigwell haul. Powder puff, didn't she say we've got a big one and a mini one? Um, yes, correct. Oh yeah, here's the mini one. Is so the, got, the bigger one like a body puff? Or? I don't know. Mini puff as well. Then we got one of the powders. I'm so excited to try this. Um, translucent powder, which will be perfect. And then, I think I'm most excited for this, the lip oil set. Look at how nice. So Coconut, mango, set. watermelon and grape. How good is that? So we've got that goodie bag from Trigwell. I'll show you the pretty little thing stuff later because we can't do that now. We're tired. And now we're going to go our separate ways. Go to our, I'm going to get a packet of Chris from the reaction. Are you? Are you going to get anything or no? I might. Oh, I, look, I opened this. With my little thingy. Oh, what's in it? Let me see. It's all cupcakes. I was hoping for like cookies and a variety, oh. but it's Halloween. That Quite cute, sick. isn't it? So I might have one of them on the train. Yeah. Um, let me turn it around. I could just do the big bottle of water yeah. for the train. So that was our very manic day. I tried. If you like that? Too, this is a good one. Yeah, I'm excited to try the coffee from here. We'll do that next time. But we thought, right, we'll go get some brunch. We'll go to put this thing around, and we'll have all afternoon shopping. Film a comfort with me. Go to Stradivarius, Bershka, Zara. We didn't even go to Zara. You didn't even get the basic top. And then I just don't yeah. know. I just can't be asked now, can you? No. And then we went to Primark because we had all the bags, and it was so busy, and it was just hot and bothered. I had to take my jacket off. Has it really gone to plan? No. We're just not gonna. Like, it's successful. We've got lots of pretty little things. Really on them tote bags. That girl has on. Oh, the bubbly one. Yeah, right, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I've seen that on Christmas today. Really, I really yeah, like that. Yeah, I'll have a look that. on the train. She looks really link. cool. Um, so yeah, it wasn't quite... I was planning on doing it as a whole separate video, but that just hasn't gone to plan. It's going to have to be... I spent a few days with me instead, but I thought I'd give you an update. We'll see Mia soon, so we'll be okay. We'll have more energy when we next see each other. We'll eat yeah. more. <laughs> so if it's someone's bad day, there's period blood on my top. There you go. That's the kind of day it's been. Yeah. <laughs> and all we've eaten is that, what you saw. That's all we've it's eaten. Like French toast. <laughs> and it's like four o'clock now, we're starving. I'm so, so we'll see you Bye. when we're better women, when we're more refreshed. Yeah. <laughs> and now let's just pretend I got back from the event. 
And I thought I'd show you, give you like a little pretty little thing haul and go through the Trigwell Cosmetics stuff a little bit more. So I thought we could do that. So let me just get all the bags together. I actually can't believe they had this blazer because the thing is, they had loads of different things, but there was only like one size in one thing. They just basically, we spoke to one of the girls from Pretty Little Thing and they basically just ordered a bunch of clothes in a bunch of different sizes. But all the things I managed to find that I like weren't in my size and like, there wasn't many things that were in my size because I think there was a lot of girls there that were a similar size to me so like they were getting picked up quickly and then the one thing I found that was in my size that I liked was this blazer that I already had which is annoying oh my god and also when I came home from the Pretty Little Thing event I was looking on Pretty Little Thing's Instagram Ella from Married at First Sight went to the event and if you've been watching my weekly vlogs the past few weeks you know I'm obsessed with Married at First Sight and she went to the event and I didn't see her because she went at a different time to me and I'm gutted but anyway that's enough of that Let's show you what I got from the event. So first up, I got this coat. This is one of the culprits as to why the come shop for me didn't happen because carrying the bags around and trying to shop and vlog just was not possible. But I love this coat. I actually saw this one Pretty Little Thing the other day and I really liked it, I was tempted to get it. So the fact they had it at the event was amazing. It's this navy coat. I got it in a size 10. Why don't we try everything on? Because I've not tried anything on yet, so this could be fun. Um, it's in a size 10, but I'm a size 6, but I quite like my coats oversized. You know, I can wear jumpers underneath them. And I don't have a navy coat, and I'm loving navy at the moment. I feel like it looks really expensive. And actually, with an all-white outfit like this, it could look really cute. It's just this, like, wool full length coat sort of thing it feels really nice okay i quite like this i feel like it looks a little bit formal with the white but i also quite like it and i love the fact it's got like this two pocket detail here i really like that that fits perfectly i would have actually picked a size 10 out of all the sizes so that is amazing and then i also actually got something else in a size 10 which again i've seen online and i really liked and i don't know if this is going to fit me because it's one of those things that are meant to be like skin tight so it being a 10 might be a bit too big but i love this it's so up my street it's this like taupe unitard like all in one thing like ash af af leisure vibes this would work with so much like wear this around the house like wear this out the house style it up style it down i literally love this i know they also do it in a creamy color as well but this like taupey beige color i absolutely love and then i've got another jacket which is another culprit as to why i couldn't vlog it's this like um Borg faux leather coat, little jacket type thingy, and this just fits like this. I think I got this in a size 10 as well, and it's just like a nice, it doesn't really work with this outfit. It kind of works with this outfit, but I probably wouldn't wear it with this, but it's just like a nice oversized sort of jacket, jacket, um, and then I got this jumper, which I absolutely love. I actually tried this on the other day. This is the one thing I did try on. I got this in a large. And it's just this beige oversized jumper. I'm pretty sure they do matching trousers to this online. But this I'm probably going to wear as a jumper dress. It's literally the perfect length for me. And the perfect fit to wear as a jumper dress. I don't know how well you can see that. And it's a really lovely thick material. I'm just going to try and... don't know if you can see. Do you see what I mean? Like, it's so nice and thick and so soft. And then the last thing from Pretty Little Thing that I got is this little, like, waistcoat. This I got in a size 16. But I thought this, like, oversized vibe could look really cute. It has got four buttons, but only two of them are done up but it's like torture shell buttons little waistcoat with some trousers like this or something like either uh, bit i thought it could look really cute and then we have the true well cosmetic stuff which obviously i've shown you but i thought we could actually like open the makeup brushes because i've not even seen these myself so i thought we could do this together i love the bag of this it's so cool and then inside oh my oh they're pink brushes oh my god there's loads in here I have all of these. So there's face brushes, eye brushes, and I love the, um, I didn't realise they were like a pink handle, but I absolutely love that. Let's try one out. Let's see. Let's go with like this one. Why is the lighting just gone like that? They've all got these little like shower cap thingies on. I've never had that with a makeup brush before. Oh my God. That was so satisfying. I wish I could do that again. <gasps> oh my God. That is so soft. What even is this? Does it say TO3? I don't know. Maybe like a powder brush or something or like a blush brush these are so soft mia was also saying that um she asked people for some recommendations of makeup brushes and they said either trigwell cosmetics or peaches and cream so i'm so excited that i've now got like a full set of trigwell brushes to try i have not bought new makeup brushes in absolutely ages i still use like the real techniques ones that i got when i was like 16 and my mac 217 and stuff like that from like the 2016 um beauty guru era so it'd be nice to have some new brushes and then I know you, let's smell the lip oils Mia tried this and she said it was amazing she sent me a voice note and was like oh my god the Trigwell Cosmetics lip oils let's give mango a smell because I feel like that's gonna be my favorite I love the packaging 
like these little square um, boxes, I suppose. I've never tried a lip oil. I know they're like really popular at the moment, but I just haven't ever got one. Oh my God. That smells a thousand times better than I was expecting. Oh my God. I don't know what that smells like. It reminds me of something. It reminds me of something from my childhood. I love the size of the dough for applicator as well. Look at how chunky she is. Okay, I need to smell. I was only just gonna smell one of them, but now I feel like I need to smell the rest of them because that coconut, no, that mango one literally smelled insane. This is coconut. Oh my God. That smells proper like coconut, but it makes me feel a bit unwell because I don't like coconut flavored things whatsoever. And that smells like a classic coconut body butter. My mum would probably like that because she loves coconut. This one is watermelon. Ooh, that smells refreshing. That smells like, I don't know, that smells like watermelon. I don't really know what I'm saying here. And lastly, grape, which I think could be my least favorite because I hate, I hate grape scented things. Oh, I absolutely despise that. It smells exactly like grape scented things. If you like them, you'll love that, but I hate grape scented things with a burning passion. So that's not for me. Uh, let's now see the infamous powder puff. This is huge. Oh my God. Oh, I got two. I was like thinking this is so thick and chunky, but there's two. What am I meant to use these for though? Are these like, because these are the original ones, but surely that's too big to fit under your eye. These feel so nice though. Now I'm excited to see the mini one. I didn't realize there was two in the box. That was a very pleasant surprise. There's also two of the mini ones. Oh, these are cute. These are like the size I normally use for underneath my eyes. Look at how cute that is. And then lastly, oh, I've got the blush as well, actually, haven't I? Oh, I don't have any blushes in this color. This is a very different color for me, but that looks really nice. Like a kind of orangey pink. Last but not least, oh, this is gonna need some scissors. Let me find some scissors. Now for the powder, which we were speaking to a girl that works for Trigwell and she said she used to work for Charlotte Tilbury and she actually prefers this to Charlotte Tilbury powders. And like, she was like, I'm not just saying this, like I genuinely mean that. So I'm really, I haven't actually tried any Charlotte Tilbury powders, but I'm excited to try this. Why is this so difficult to get into? Oh my God, the powder's in like a really weird shape. I think this is in the shape of like the um, powder puffs, but I've never seen a powder this shape before. This looks so nice. I'm so excited to try this. I also just love the packaging. Like I love the fact that it's a bit different to every other um, like setting powder kind of thing. Look at the state of my bed. It's an absolute mess, but yes, that is everything that I got from the Pretty Little Thing event. I thought I might as well just show you the bits I picked up. Now, let's carry on with the weekly vlog and try and make this not any more confusing than I've already made it. Hello, it is now Saturday. I am just getting ready to, well, I am actually ready. I don't know why I said I'm just getting ready. I am now ready because I'm going out for a coffee with Sophia. I do look slightly overdressed for going for a coffee, which I completely agree with, but I want to get an Instagram picture in this outfit, which sounds so basic, but I just thought it makes sense to put this on so then I can get an Instagram picture in it whilst I'm out with Sophia. I've got to do it for the Instagram, you know, the dedication is real, but I've just got this black dress on from Pretty Little Thing. It's giving Skims vibes. It is giving so flattering, such a nice material. I've got it on with you can't really see it. I feel like this lighting is dreadful. Let me just have a look at this clip because I feel like this lighting's awful. I feel like the lighting looks really weird. I don't know why. But anyway, um, I've got these little like, um, I can't really, the dress is so long. These little like Ugg boots on. Now, let me just take one off a minute so I can show you the colour because I'm really struggling. The boots are this colour, right? And I'm bringing with me these sunglasses from Primark because they're like an orangey lens. I thought they were tie in really well. And also they've got a black lens. So they tie in with the dress. Let me just put my shoe back on because I feel a bit awkward holding it. And then I'm going to bring with me my Jacquemus bag which I just never bring out because it is absolutely tiny but I thought it would work really well with the outfit and I just really wanted to style it with something I got this like two years ago from Boohoo I won like the Boohoo ambassador of the month so they literally bought me a Jacquemus bag which is crazy and I just thought this outfit looks really cute together I feel like this lighting is absolutely dreadful it's really getting on my nerves but this is basically the outfit you can't see the full length but go over to my Instagram if you want to see the full length thing there you go cheeky little plug um so this is my little outfit not my normal Saturday morning go to coffee outfit but like I said I'm doing it for the Instagram also you know I mentioned earlier on in the vlog about my top being ripped now that I'm not wearing it I thought I could show you it so you can really see the damage look at the state of it how honestly it's so RIP my Zara top I mean it's fine from the front so if I wore a jacket it'd be fine but I'm just gonna buy a new one I mean I might keep this just in case I know that sounds really bad but I don't like throwing clothes away even though I mean there's a completely valid reason for me to throw this away but I just feel like I don't know maybe I could kind of style it make it look like it's intentionally ripped do you know what I mean like from the front with the jacket I feel like I could get away with it so when the new one I do buy is in the wash at least I've got 
one to wear if I wanted to. Do you know what I mean? I just don't like throwing clothes in the bin. I just feel like it's such a waste. But is that just me being a little bit hoarderish? Because that is actually a ripped top. Oh, and also I'm going to bring with me, I'm walking really funny because the dress is really tight from the bottom. I've also just realised I picked up the wrong thing. Um, I'm going to bring with me the um, grape scented lip oil to give to Sophia because I thought I'll keep the mango one for myself. My mum loves coconut scented things. So I'm going to give the coconut one to my mum. I'm going to give the watermelon one to Alana and I'm going to give the grape one to Sophia. I just thought it'd be cute, you know, share my little um, gift with everyone. So actually let's put that. That's like one of the only things that is going to fit in my Jacqueline's bag. So let's put that in there so I don't forget it and then I can give that to Sophia. So yeah, that is the outfit. That is today's plan. I've just been filming some stuff this morning and then I've been looking at cars because I need to buy a new car. I don't really want to buy a new car, but I also kind of do, but it's more so a need. So I've been looking at new cars. Now I'm going to go for a coffee with Sophia. I also need to pop to the post office as well to um, send off some vintage parcels. So I shall do that. Um, and I'll probably next see you in Starbucks. I think I'm going to try the drink that Mia posted on her Instagram story the other day because ever since she's posted it I've been meaning to try it and I just haven't been to Starbucks so I think I think Sophia and I are going to Starbucks I don't know we haven't said where we're going but we normally always go to Starbucks so if we go to Starbucks I'll try that anyway I'm rambling sort of my little Jacquemus bag around um I will see you in a little bit woohoo please can I get an ice caramel macchiato but with sweet vanilla cold foam on top of that is that me? Yes, please. We made it to Starbucks and I got the, um, I'm just going to turn it around. The cold foam blonde thingy, so I thought I'd give it a try. I don't know if it's mixed, that's not mixed foam, that is it? Maybe I'll just try it for the foam first. Mm. Mm. That tastes like um, sesame oil. <laughs> Let's give her another. Yeah, yeah, no, we just, I don't even think I got it in blonde roast. No, I didn't. I think that's my issue. Blonde roast with caramel macchiato is much nicer. Like, it's nice, but I don't feel like the foam's adding anything to it because it's not blonde roast. And everyone was like, I'm going to go to the library. I'm like, look at this is our. Hello, I don't know if this is a good angle or whether back here is but then you've got the dashboard in the way i think we'll just go there and i also don't know if i've got my sunglasses on or whether maybe we'll have them on because these are a different pair of sunglasses to what i normally wear are you focusing on the dashboard i think you are these are a different pair of sun sun sunglasses to what i normally wear in the weekly vlog so let's just change it up a little bit i've now finished sophia uh, i've now finished seeing sophia i just dropped her off um and um we went to the post office oh if anyone wants an update last time i saw sophia in the weekly vlog i mentioned that she might be getting prep subscription i feel silly with my sunglasses on like that like austin powers or something um sophia's now got the prep subscription if anyone cares that's fun i don't think i've really got anything else to update you on since i last saw you i tried the coffee but i didn't get blonde roast so i feel like it could be nice with blonde roast and like i couldn't really tell much of a difference with the foam on than just a normal caramel macchiato without the foam but i'll definitely try it again it is now i don't even know where my phone is it's now half two which would make sense as to why i'm hungry my mum texted me a minute ago being like we've just bought a new car that was rogue i didn't see that coming they're in cornwall though so i don't know i guess they must have it. i don't really know they just they went to look at a car today i spoke to my mum this morning she's like we're just gonna have a look at cars and they've just gone and bought a new car even though like they were planning on getting one but like not today do you know what i mean anyway talking of cars oh i told you didn't i I was looking at cars this morning lots of new cars going on like josh has just got a new car josh's parents need to get a new car i don't think i mentioned this but josh's parents um when they went on holiday you know in like the weekly vlog a few weeks ago i was staying at josh's house oh my camera batteries are on a charge let me just tell you the story then i'm gonna drive home um when i was staying at josh's house because his parents were on holiday they went on holiday and they parked in luton airport and their car was in the car park that set a light so they don't have a car now um well they don't have one of their cars do you know what i mean because it was in the car park so they need to buy a new car there's so much talk of new cars going on in my life that's really boring anyway i don't know why i've just told you that anyway like i said the camera actually is running out of charge i'm gonna go home and have some lunch I'm going over to josh's this evening i might see you this afternoon we'll see but i just thought i'd update you after seeing sophia got my instagram picture so it was worth putting this dress on and wearing it it's quite a nice blue sky sunny day today actually so i'm quite glad i wore this anyway i'm gonna go home now like i said have some lunch i'm absolutely ravenous i was gonna get a cake pop but i decided not to why do i look so stupid like this okay i'll see you in a bit goodbye good evening i've made it to josh's we're watching the rugby i just thought i would update you and i'm gonna have a little cadbury's chocolate pudding for my dessert which i'm very excited about because i love these Good morning, it is now Sunday. Um, 
I'm about to have hot chocolate in my new mug that Josh bought me, which I'm really excited because I haven't used it yet. I filmed a clip when we got it the other day, so I'll just insert that in here. Josh and I have just been on a fun Monday morning, midday trip to Tesco. Big Tesco, look at how big it is. We don't normally come here as well because it's like a little far, like it's not our local Tesco. So we've come, got this mug. I saw this, um, I don't know where I saw this. Was it on like a TikTok or something? I don't know, I saw it and was like, oh my god, that is so cute. And I wanted Josh to buy me it so I could have it when I have hot chocolates at his house. And we finally found it. He, to be, oh, it's double-sided. To be fair, Josh did look for it um, the other day, but it wasn't in Tesco. But today it was. And also, I got these white chocolate digestives. I've been looking for these for ages and they were on Club Card. So I'm well excited to try them. I feel like they could be very sweet, but I do like white chocolate and I've been wanting to try these for ages. Okay. I don't think they're limited edition actually, but they've only just come out with them. So I'm like, oh, can I have a little hot chocolate and then um, a white chocolate digestive later? Um, what a dream. It's really cute because so I'm going to have hot chocolate now this morning. And then we're going to go out for some breakfast to this place I haven't been to before, but I've been wanting to go to for ages. I'm not really feeling my outfit today, but it's the only thing I brought with me to Josh's, so I don't have anything else to wear. So let's just not judge the outfit. We're going for a, a comfy, cozy, autumnal Sunday morning breakfast outfit, okay? So I'll take you with us for breakfast. I'm really excited to go. I don't know what to have pancakes or waffles or french toast because i've seen on their instagram they've got a pumpkin like limited edition special this weekend french toast i'm really tempted to get that and then i'm going to show you the drink i'm going to get because the drinks menu is insane and i love a good extensive drinks menu so i'm very excited to go that is the plan that is what i'm going to do this morning i just thought i'd intro this now say good morning i'm going to wear uggs and my little jelly cat coffee bag and i think it's kind of cute i also have a zara wolf jelly that works really well with this in the car I don't know if I want to wear that, but I've got that as an option if I want to. But that is today's plan. And I'm going to show you my new cute mug because it's so adorable. This is my new mug. I know I inserted the clip of me getting it the other day, so you've already seen it. But what I love about it is that it's double-sided. Because you know sometimes it's like that, but I like to hold a... Like if I'm filming, I hold my camera in my right hand. So I like that it's on both sides. So whichever way you're holding it and drinking it, you can see it. The clocks went back last night as well, so it's actually 8.56. I forgot um that they did that so i woke up naturally at half six this morning because it's so much lighter now in the mornings which <laughs> which i love because i was been finding it so hard to wake up early in the morning so like in the summer i'd wake up at six but because it's been dark until like half seven i find it so hard to wake up early at the moment but today i naturally woke up at half six because it was light outside so although i'm not excited about the fact it's gonna be dark at like three o'clock I am very excited about the early mornings, like the light mornings, because then it means I can start waking up early again and be more productive, which I love. If you use it, you just click, click the off button. You may want to give it a little bit. Thank you. Ta-da! Tastes even nicer than my special mug. Um, I'm styling your sunglasses. I've left mine at home and I just feel like my outfit looks really boring. So if I put some sunglasses in my head, it'll make it look a little bit better. So I've stolen M's. This is where we're going this morning. And look what they've just posted. This Oreo cake and mint aero. Oh my God, I love mint aero. They literally just posted that six minutes ago. That's made me even more excited to go. Look at how cute, it's all Halloween-y. We made it to the cafe. This is what I think I'm going to get. Pumpkin spice French toast with a cinnamon cream cheese frosting because I love cream cheese. But look what they do. I don't know if I said this earlier, they do selfie chinos so you can get a picture on your coffee, which I'm obviously going to have to do. But they also have milkshakes and smoothies. Like, this is so me. If a place has milkshakes and smoothies, I love it. And look at all the flavours. I'm, I'm tempted to get one as a takeaway. Either Kinder Bueno or Dairy Milk. All those with their Biscoff and Maltese also sound delicious. This was my other food option, Nutella s'mores. So they do them either as pancakes or waffles. I'd either get that or the Biscoff was tempted to buy. Or to be fair, they also do a smoothie bowl, but I feel like I need to get this, especially because it's limited edition. I could get this another time. So I'm gonna get this and my coffee. Now I need to decide on a picture of the dogs to put on it. I've gone with this photo. I really struggled to find one of them both looking. Like I've got good pictures of both of them individually, but I didn't want to pick just one. So I've gone with this one. I hope that works. Right, let's go with it. Oh my God, guys, look. How cool is that? Look at them. My mum is literally going to love that. I'm going to send her a picture in a minute. Josh decided not to get me on his flat white. To be fair, he forgot. He was going to get a milkshake. But look at how cute this is. If I could get this in a coffee everywhere, I absolutely would. I'd get various pictures of me and the dogs. How cute though. Next time I'm going to get a picture of me. But well, I had to go for the dogs to start with. How cute. Oh my god. Look at how good this looks. Look at how thick the French toast is. And it's got a little marshmallow pumpkin on which I think is adorable. And then like pumpkin sauce. The lighting here is not the best. It's looking a bit yellow. 
jello -y, but honestly it looks amazing in person. And then Josh got a bacon, bacon and sausage bagel with scrambled egg and then we got a side of hash browns to share because I like, just love a hash brown. <laughs> like what I found if you've been a watcher of the shop come shop with me you're gonna know I have been looking for this scarf for ages it's the beige Jacquemus dupe but every time I go in a shop to find it it says it's in stock are you serious? oh for fuck no <laughs> are you joking we've now got to evacuate because the fire alarm's going off I was I just touched it oh my god we're back I'm gonna get it I can't believe it it's been out of stock online this whole time it's the Jacquemus dupe out of stock the whole time um, and I've never been able to find it and it said it was in stock in this shop but I keep getting pranked by the app which says it's in stock and it's not so you're coming home with me I got the scarf what a win but it's absolutely drenched because we've just got downpoured my poor cake I think it should be all right I covered that bit with my scarf but we are oh my god can you hear that look at the state of my Uggs I haven't waterproofed them either but I didn't know it was going to rain and now I'm scared they're ruined. I am a soggy drowned rat. We've got a car in front of us with brake lights for traffic lights so I thought I'd quickly vlog so that's why my face looks red but I didn't think it was going to rain today. My Uggs I think are now ruined. I wore this like nothing waterproof. Everything that's just going to get ruined by getting wet which is not ideal but I didn't end up getting a milkshake from the um, breakfast place because I was so full up but we're definitely going back. I want to get a coffee. I have plan. I'm going to go with mum and she's going to get a picture of Billy or Reggie and then I'll get a picture of whichever dog because I think the picture would look better like I've got clearer pictures of them individually but like I didn't have a very clear picture of them both so I just had to make do with what I had I didn't want to just pick one if I go with mum then we can have one each which would be really cute and then I also want to get one with my face on because it is actually called a selfie chino and the girl when I said I was going to get it she was like is it going to be a picture of you so they knew that it was like my picture sort of thing because you upload it if that makes sense and i was like it would be my dog so if they're expecting it to be me it's less embarrassing so i think um i wonder how still this stable this is going to stay don't do that um, and then for cake wise they had such a good cake selection but i went with mint aero which is so rogue but it's the one i saw on instagram this morning and i love mint aero and i've never had it in a cake and i don't know if it's going to work in a cake but i decided to risk it and try it so we'll see that when we get back it's absolutely fucking it down now though so i think it's going to be a cozy film afternoon potentially which i'm kind of in the mood for so i'm not complaining i am complaining that my hair is literally drenched like this is going to go so curly and wavy and like it's just it's disgusting i'm in my car now because i just went home to pick it up because i need it for tomorrow and josh picked me up from my house yesterday which is why I didn't have it but I'm waiting for Josh to get here because he went to get petrol so I'm at his before him and I can't get the gate to open anyway that's why I'm just randomly sitting in my car up and it's raining it's actually lightening up a little bit but I love like one thing I'm really gonna miss about my car I'm just seeing if Josh is here um is the convertible roof like not only for obviously sunny days having my roof down but even for days like this just listen how therapeutic is that like I'm actually not mad, I've just got to sit in the car for 10 minutes waiting for Josh to get here because because I'm actually really enjoying this noise. And last night it absolutely chucked it down and I love it when you're like getting into bed and you can hear the rain on the windows and you're getting in bed and you're all cosy and you can hear the rain but you know you're not going out because you're about to go to sleep. I literally love that. I just don't like being out in the rain or getting caught out in the rain like we did this morning because I just wasn't prepared for the rain. If I, if I knew it was going to rain, I would have worn different stuff and I would have like, um, I would have brought an umbrella but alas, we are where we are which is currently sitting on Josh driveway listening to the rain waiting for him to get here hello we are back i am absolutely soggy so i've got changed i wanted to put my i've got some new gray well i say they're new they're new but i bought them a while ago but i haven't worn them yet and they're still in the packaging um like the gray boyfriend pajamas from primark i wanted to put them on but then i thought i might feel a bit slobbish wearing pajamas at one o'clock on a sunday afternoon like i feel like that is acceptable for a sunday afternoon but when Josh and his parents are going to be in actual clothes, I do feel slobbish. So I thought I'd put this on, which is a comfy alternative, but I feel a little bit more put together. Also, I thought I'd show you the cake that I got where we went to um, thingies. Obviously, I had to get some cake. I was tempted by Milky Bar, but I thought I'd get the Halloween Min Aero. It smells delicious. I'm actually quite glad I got this because I think the white chocolate could have been a bit sickly after a while. Can you see it's got like the little, it's got a square of it on top and then like a little spooky eye. So I'll have that this afternoon. Um, I've also got my Kindle downstairs, which is over there. So I thought maybe I'll have a lovely Sunday afternoon, reading my book, listening to the rain. It's very autumnal as well, I feel like at the moment, like a lot of the um, trees when I was driving yesterday and I was on the drive instead, I feel like they're very, 
Like I'm just looking out at the trees in Josh's garden. They've all turned brown. Do you know what I mean? Like I feel like a few weeks ago they were all very green, but now they're getting the orangey brown, which is really lovely. But yeah, I managed to get the scarf. I'm chuffed about that, but I've left that in Josh's car. But um, finally, I think that's the fourth attempt of me going to H&M and I finally have it, so I'm really pleased with that. And I think that's everything I had to update you on. I don't think there's really anything else. I was just scrolling on TikTok and look what I've just seen. I want these so badly. I don't even like the cola bottles. They're my least favourite, but I think them as hair clips is so cool because the other stuff, um, like the egg is probably my favourite, like the love heart, but like I don't really need a scalp massager. I don't need that. To be honest, I don't need the um, cola bottle hair clips either, but I really want them and I'm going to Primark tomorrow and I really, really hope they have them because I'm a, I, I'm a neutrals girly and I'm like a... I say not like classy but do you know what I mean that kind of style but I also do love me a bit of novelty and a bit of tack and this is just right up my street <laughs> it has actually stopped raining now but it's still we're still gonna have a cozy autumnal lunch of soup and a cheese toasty How cozy. I'm going to watch Gilmore Girls and Bake Off after this. What a dream. Hello. It is now about 20 past three. Um, Josh is cleaning his car. We've just had some lunch. We had tomato soup and grilled cheese, which Josh keeps moaning at me. I'm just having to kind of crouch down so I can sit in, fit in frame. But Josh is like, it's not a grilled cheese. We're not American. It's a cheese toasty. And I do agree with him, but I feel like if you're having a cheese toasty with soup, it sounds better to call it grilled cheese. So we had that for lunch anyway, and I've just found out we're having chicken pie for dinner, which is one of my favourite dinners, and I feel like it's so autumnal. I'm just getting autumnal vibes today, and I'm loving it. Um, but yeah, Josh is cleaning his car now, and Josh's mum and dad have just gone on a dog walk, so I thought, whilst I've got a little bit of time to myself, I'm going to sit on the sofa, and I'm going to watch an episode of Gilmore Girls. Maybe, I don't know how long it's going to take him. Maybe I'll watch two episodes. Anyway, I'm going to watch Gilmore Girls, basically, and I've also um, brought my cake with me. So I'm going to sit here, eat some cake and watch Gilmore Girls. And I love that. And also, I was also thinking like, it's going to get kind of dark soon. Like it is only half three, but I was thinking about it. Like I'm trying to work out what time it gets dark. Cause I can't really remember like last year, what time it got dark once the clock's changed. But I feel like yesterday was probably getting dark around six-ish. I would guess, I don't really pay attention to the time when it's getting dark, but I'd say it's probably about six-ish. So now the clock's gone back, it's going to be getting dark at like five-ish. So there's only really like another hour or so before the sun's going to start setting, which just feels so cosy. Anyway, I'm going to sit and eat my cake. I'm so excited about this. I don't think I've ever had a mint chocolate cake, but it actually does look delicious. It's just gone five o'clock. Look how dark it's getting outside. Josh is back from cleaning his car, so rather than carrying on watching you and my girls, I thought I'd read my book for a little bit. And it is feeling so cosy in my tunnel. Look at how cozy. Good morning. It is Monday. It is 20 past eight. It is also bin day. So if you can hear any background noise, that is why. But I'm in um, town. I literally got here at eight o'clock because Josh had to leave home at half seven. So I was like, okay, I'll leave when you leave. Got here so early. It's so quiet other than the bin lorries and today I've come to Cambridge to self shoot some Instagram content. This is the first outfit with these new balance on. Um, got this father figure cap on from Sist and Seekers. This is pretty big, I'm obsessed with it. And then my jumper is Primark. I curled my hair last night but it's gone like, it looks all right like that but when I was getting Instagram content it looked a bit weird but I'm doing a mixture of reels so I've just done a reel on my camera and now I'm gonna shoot some pictures. So I thought I'd give you a little behind the scenes. This is the tripod. This is the tripod that I've been using recently to get my Instagram pictures, because it is so tiny. This is not an ad. Sounds like an ad, it's absolutely not. I did do an ad for this on my TikTok, but this, I don't need to mention it on my YouTube, but it is honestly so good. I recommend it to everyone. This is how Mia and I shot ourselves, um, our content the other day together. It goes up so tall, but it's so lightweight and compact, and then you can just put your phone in there. So I thought I'd give you a little behind the scenes this morning of me getting some Instagram content. And then I just use the Lens Buddy app and then it like takes 25, no, 250 pictures. And that is literally what I use. So I thought I'd give you a little behind the scenes of this this morning. The only thing with this tripod compared to my other one is it doesn't go quite as tall as I would like. Like it goes tall enough, but you're not gonna be able to see it. Just give the camera a little clean. Always clean your camera. So many people forget to do that and then their pictures are really blurry. Okay, 
that out is done. Next up, I have this little um, knitted set from Pretty Little Thing. And because it's like baggy and this is tight, I'm just gonna put this over the top of what I'm currently wearing. Like take this off, take this off, put it over the top. Genius. Saves me having to get changed, like go into find toilets or anything. Okay, outfit number two is on. It's like this little fluffy set, it's so cute. And then I've got it on with little Ugg X helper bag and then these it looks so cute together but i've decided why don't i shoot my reels and my pictures at the same time so i'm not going to do behind the scenes of taking pictures for this one because i'm going to use my phone for pictures and my camera for reels but i thought i'd show you the outfit it's so cute okay we are done with getting instagram content this is my actual outfit for today so i thought we could do a little outfit of the day and then i need to go to zara to either exchange or return that bomber jacket that i got couple of weekly vlogs back that is too small for me i wanted it to fit like this and it's just too small because i got it in a small so i'm going to see if they've got a medium or a large that i can exchange it or return it and i've got tk maxx return to do and then i'm going to go to primark and film what's new primark and then i might get a coffee i really want to try the caramel waffle latte from mcdonald's so i might get that and if i do i'll try it with you but i thought i'd give you a little out for the day um these shorts i literally ironed them yesterday but they just crease up as soon as you sit down on them which is really annoying but they're from boohoo i wear them all the time i absolutely love them my vest is a classic one of the zara ones which i love i've got my jelly cut bag on again I seem to be loving this bag at the moment but it's like it works really well with like this color scheme and again i kind of didn't really have a bag that worked that well with this jacket like this was my best option bomber jacket is boohoo i've got some leg warmers on no arm warmers on that look like leg warmers do you know what i mean they're arm warmers but i'm wearing these leg warmers from primark and then i've got these on again because again i'm obsessed with them they're from boohoo they're like um little ugg dupes i can't get my leg up that high and there's now a noisy motorbike so that is my cue to go and finish getting this content and go and go and go shopping i'm gonna go shopping okay i'll see you in a bit I'm just in Zara and this is the bomber jacket but in beige but I can't see no it's actually not that's not even the bomber jacket okay maybe they do have it but they also have this jumper which I love I've seen it on the website I'm obsessed with it but it's 80 pound but it's such a nice chunky beige knit and it like fits so oversized I also love this tracksuit I've ordered it in the beige but I haven't actually opened the parcel yet but I keep seeing people in it on TikTok they've got a black and a grey I love the grey I would try it on but I'm going shopping with Mia on Wednesday so I'm trying not to look in Zara like I'm only quickly scooting around Zara to see oh here you go you can see that a little bit better I got my caramel waffle latte from McDonald's whilst I was like um, Zara's open but I haven't tried it yet so I'll try it in a minute but I'm just trying to have a quick scoot around to see if they've got the bomber for me to exchange or whether I'm just gonna have to return it but I'm really like I want to show you stuff but I'm trying to wait for Wednesday for filming my comfort with me with Mia so we'll just do oh that's interesting it's like a jumper like a mesh overlay um, I can't see the bummer. I don't think they've got it anymore annoyingly, so I'm just gonna have to return it, which is a bit of a bummer. Um, yeah, there you go. There's the outfit a little bit better. I don't know how well you saw it earlier. I don't think they've got it. So I'm just gonna return this and then we'll try the coffee and then head over to Primark. Okay, return is done. I'm just gonna give my coffee a little try. It's not giving caramel waffle. It's giving, it's quite a nice coffee, especially because it was cheap because it's from McDonald's, but it's not giving, it's not giving the caramel waffle that it told me it was going to give and that I was hoping for but I was up at like half six this morning so it's a coffee I will take it I'm now going to move the car over to Primark just so I don't have to walk it's a little bit easier then I'll film my what's new in Primark so I won't see you then because I'm filming a separate video but then I've got a few other shops I'm going to go into after Primark before I go home so I will see you then oh my god I am absolutely boiling Primark was boiling and it's so sunny it's a gorgeous day today it's like blue skies and sunshine I'm in shorts I'm so glad I didn't wear trousers today the outfit of the day was definitely the right decision i've even had to take the jacket off i am so hot i think i power walked back from primark like unintentionally i just did and everybody knows that primark is absolutely boiling so i'm so hot but primark is done i'm so excited that it was really successful like the what's new in primark is going to be good the primark haul is going to be good because i've got some really good stuff so i'm very excited about that um and now i'm going to quickly pop into mns to have a look at their halloween food i wanted to get like some halloween foods from mns they've come out with like halloween themed foods and i was going to do it for dinner one night this week but actually the food it looks cute but it's basically just like chicken nuggets and stuff and it's quite expensive for what it is so i want to have a look at it but i don't actually think i'm going to buy anything because i just feel like it's not actually like it's like party food so it doesn't really work for a dinner do you know what i mean just for like me and my brother i'm going to quickly pop into b&m as well 
just to see if they've got this glass that I'm looking for because I had a look yesterday in B&M in the town that we went to yesterday and they didn't have it my local Primark uh my local B&M doesn't have it so I'm going to quickly see if they've got it here in Cambridge and then I also I'm going to quickly pop to TK Maxx because I've got something to return and I'm obviously going to have to have a quick look at the Christmas decorations whilst I'm there I'm going to try not to look too much though I don't even know if this is focus on me or my jacket um because I'm going to film a come shop with me homeware christmas edition next week so i'm gonna to go to tk maxx then but obviously tk maxx is one of those shops where like it, if it sells out it's sold out so whilst i'm in there i might have a quick look just because i'm looking for this little gingerbread mug i've been on the hunt for it for like the past month and i haven't found it so i might as well have a look whilst i'm there so that is the plan this definitely is not facing me i also need to quickly pop into asda just to get some bits for dinner tonight so i'm gonna do that as well so i'm gonna pop to a couple shops and then i'm driving i'm driving home with my roof down because it's a gorgeous day and I'm boiling and like I said I'm gonna be getting rid of this car soon I think so any chance I get to have my roof down I want to make the most of it I'm just so annoyed I left my sunglasses like yesterday I went home to pick my car up so I could have picked up my sunglasses when I did that and I still didn't and I don't know why I didn't because I normally always bring my sunglasses so I'm probably gonna be squinting on the way home anyway I am rambling I'm gonna get out this car hopefully cool myself down the leg warmers are really warming the legs right now i really don't need my legs to be warm but they are cute with the outfits i'm gonna keep them on right let's go and do a little bit more shopping before i go home look at how nice these little ceramic houses are four pound for the set they're so cute it's like scanty home vibes and the little christmas tree decorations but i suppose you could actually just like take the um hangy bit off and then just like set them on a work surface, not a work surface, but like a mantelpiece or something. So you could either have them hanging up or as like a little display. This is what I picked up. The most random selection from B&M ever. This is a limited edition Coke and whenever they have them, they put out a few of them now. I always like to try them to try and guess the flavour. So we should do that in a minute. I'm going to go and buy this and then go into the, ooh, advent calendars. I don't know what advent calendar I want this year. I always want the Pringle one. I always want to try it, but it's only 12 days. But I just feel like it's fun. Anyway, I'm gonna buy this and then I'll go to the other shops. This is what I'm returning to TK Maxx. It's this like little gingerbread glass. Although it's so cute, I just have bought too much Christmas decorations already and I really don't need it. So I'm gonna return it, but I'm gonna pop into MS before I do that. So I was like, I wonder if it'll fit in my bag because I don't wanna have to carry it. I'm scared I'm gonna drop it. Look at how perfectly it fits because obviously my bag is a little coffee cup and the cup literally fits in perfectly. So now I can just zip it up and I don't have to worry about breaking it. How ideal is that? Okay, I think I found the advent calendar I want this year. I love popcorn chocolate and it's got popcorn clusters and then a mini chocolate slab on uh, Christmas day. Mum, if you're watching this, that is what I think I want because, oh my God, look at this one. It's like, I thought it was a dog one, but it's not. Oh, it's here. But it's got little chocolate dogs in it. How cute. But I, if you don't know this about me already, I love chocolate with stuff in it. It's my favourite. And chocolate with popcorn in is up there. Marvellous Creations and that is like my top favourite. Oh my God, they've got the Christmas canapes out already. I love an M&S Christmas canapé. Have they got anything new this year? Oh, Middle Eastern style chicken flatbreads. Mini steak sandwiches. Oh my God, mini buttermilk chicken burgers. Corn toast. <gasps> These are mine and Sophia's favourite, the mini chicken Kievs. M&S Christmas canapé section is where me and Sophia thrive. We literally love it. There's nothing that's fully grabbing me this year, but there are some nice looking bits, but that is not what I've come in here for. I've come in here for Halloween, which I don't know where that is. Here it is. This is what I came for, the Halloween stuff. They just have so much cute stuff. Like, I want pizza, little dough sticks. These are so cute. Boo bao buns. I've also seen they do like a pumpkin one of them. But do you see what I mean? Like, these are just like fish fingers, but in the shape of fishes. And they've got black and barbecue chicken wings, but they're basically just glorified chicken wings. Like they're really cute things, but nothing's like fully grabbing me. These are quite cute, like mummy meatballs, but I didn't really know what to do with them. Like, I suppose you could have them with pasta. Do I actually get them and make them with pasta? Potentially, I'm quite tempted. These are cool as well. Spooky sliders. But again, I was like, that's a bit of a boring dinner for me and my brother. Like, do we just have them with chips? I didn't really know what to do, but they have some really cool things like wriggling worms, but realistically they're just sausages. Like, they're cute for a little party, but I don't think it's worth me getting three for 12 pound on them for dinner. These are cool. Look how cool these are, box of bats, chicken nuggets. They're so cool. I'm kind of tempted to get these. What actually are they? Pork meatballs. So I could make them into a pasta, which would be kind of fun. Do I do that? But they're £4.75, do you know what I mean? Like I could just get a pack of meatballs from Aldi for like two quid instead. 
just don't really need it. It's fun, but unnecessary, and I'm trying to be sensible. Oh no, you know how I said I was trying to be sensible? I've stumbled upon a reduced Colin the Caterpillar, and can I just ask why Colin the Caterpillar, full price, £8.50, reduced to £5.27. Connie the Caterpillar, same full price, but cheaper. Redu reduction price like that doesn't make sense but oh look they've even got little halloween colin the caterpillars how cute but i love me a colin the caterpillar and the fact that it's reduced i can never normally walk past a reduced colin the caterpillar but it's just me and my brother at home this week so do we really need a colin the caterpillar just for the two of us no but could we eat that between the two of us yes we absolutely could i've just popped into Adstone. i found the one pound mugs why is there so many in stock maybe because they haven't advertised their one pound but part of me is like do i get one that's what they look like but then i'm also like i don't need it i'm only getting it for pound and also do i need this i'm a 22 year old girl that has no desire for prime but i found the mess moon one it was just on a random thing so do i do i get this to try even though i don't really care for prime i came in to look for um pom bear pringles like pom bears in a tube like pringles but they don't have them i always come in here for some other stuff and i'm not finding it and i'm getting annoyed at myself because i'm dilly dallying <laughs> I also found these beans, tikka beans, jalfrizi, jalfrizi, and vindaloo, which is so bizarre, but I'm really intrigued, so I'm gonna get them. <laughs> oh my god, look what they've got in um, TK Maxx at the moment. They've got loads of Zara Beauty makeup. Zara Beauty makeup? Zara makeup. Zara Beauty, I don't know. 5 99 oh, 9 99 so 27 .99. Cheek and eye colour flying to New York. They've also got like lipstick refills, eyeshadows. I've never actually seen like the Primark Beauty in real life really. Because I never look at it in Zara. They've even got their foundation. I don't know whether Primark makeup's any good, but what's this? This is the packaging of something. Let's see what this is. Oh, I think it maybe is like a powder or a bronzer. That actually looks quite nice. I never normally look, bother looking at the bags in TK Maxx, but this is actually so nice, this Steve Madden one. Because it comes with like a little pouch and then also like that's so good you've got like two compartments and it's nice and secure it's got a long strap they've got quite a few colors but i really love that beige one it's actually such a nice color and it's only 39.99 which i don't think is too bad oh my god look at these i've seen these before on tiktok that's velvet which feels very weird but that would look so nice like it wouldn't suit my home vibe because i go for like a neutral vibe but in a certain home i feel like that could look so cool i'm sure i've seen these on tiktok before and they're like a dupe of a really expensive brand, I'm pretty sure. I also feel like this. I don't like the gold over it, but if that was not gold and that was all white, I'd actually kind of love that, like a statement lamp. And it's only 29.99. I'm actually gutted. I mean, I could paint over that with white. And they even have two, like that on like a table or a bedside table or something, or like beside the sofa would look so nice. There is a lot of Christmas stuff going on. Like they, last time I came in, they'd started to bring in the Christmas stuff, but now it is literally everywhere. We've got like giant nutcrackers, giant baubles. Oh my God, look how much there is. There is loads in here at the moment. These candles are quite nice if you're going for like, like little house theme. Like if you've got the, um, house that I showed. Where did I just go? Where did I just see those houses? In B&M. You could do like a little theme with um, the candles as well. And this one's quite cute as well. Just merry everything. Simple, but I quite like it. Last year, oh my God, look how cute. Little candy cushion. Last year in this TK Maxx, they had a giant like six foot, maybe even like eight foot tall silver nutcracker. It was 300 pound. I loved it. I still live with my parents. I don't have a house to put it in, but I've just found this one which is a lot smaller but it's only 50 pounds which i don't think it's bad and it's white i just don't like the gold detailing and i could paint over the gold detailing but my mum and josh would literally kill me if i came home with this but i love it if it was all white that would look so nice and because i didn't get the giant 300 pound one last year girl maths i feel like this is a very good alternative that's only 50 pounds and a lot more of a decent size i'm actually really tempted i could be driving home with him in, with my roof down this girl is tempted let me tell you we are back in the car and this is the current state of my car this is my bag from staying at josh's overnight last night i've got a primer bag a primer bag this is my bag that i brought with me i absolutely love this bag it says everything on it and it's giant 
which I had my Instagram pictures in. And then I popped into Asda, as you saw, I got Nando's sauce because I'm going to do um, creamy Nando's pasta for dinner. It's a Josh that, it's a Josh that, it's a dinner that Josh used to have all the time at uni. And we had it when I was at his the other week, you would have seen it in the weekly vlog. And I've been craving it ever since. So I, I got, needed some uh, more Nando's sauce because I'd used all mine up. And then I got some cream to go with it. I should have got some mozzarella as well actually, but I didn't think about it. And then I've got chicken and pasta at home and I'll add some peppers to it. And then I don't know if I'm going to be ruining 15 year old boys dreams or like 10 year old boys dreams by buying this but I saw it and KSI and is it Logan Paul I don't even know like that's how much I don't know about this but their marketing has been genius because I don't really care for this but apparently I do because I've bought it but I just know that the Meta Moon one there's been a lot of hype about it and it's quite hard to get it so when I saw it I just had to get it do you know what i mean i just saw it in a random aisle like someone had just put it back maybe they were like mom can i have this and she was like no so it was just like randomly placed somewhere and i was like maybe i should just get it so i'm gonna try that we'll try that in a second and then i also got these which i'm so intrigued by maybe we'll try them later on the weekly vlog i don't know how this is gonna work but I, i'm a fan of baked beans and i like a tiki masala i don't know what i meant to eat these with though because how am i gonna have that beans on toast doesn't really work sausage beans like sausage with beans and chips doesn't really work but i was intrigued it says have it with naan bread maybe i'll have that for lunch i've got a naan bread at home maybe we'll try that in a bit i don't know and then from um bnm you saw what i got this i got because i keep seeing these like ghost lattes using marshmallow spread so i bought this we'll try that tomorrow because it's halloween tomorrow so i'll show you what i mean with that tomorrow i also got the limited edition coke as well so we'll also try that in the weekly vlog i'm gonna put that there so it doesn't fizz but i'll try that at some point this week and then i got some microbial popcorn because the other night when i was falling asleep i suddenly remembered about microbial popcorn like it just came to me in my sleep and i really fancied some and this was 39p so i thought i'd get that and at some point when i want to have like an autumnal movie day or watch a film one evening it's nice to have in the cupboard so very random let me just put you there and i will quickly try the meta moon prime and then i'll try the coke another day i really don't need to try both now i'm really thirsty i've not drunk any water i've got water with me i just haven't drunk it which i really should i've only ever tried one prime which was the lemon and lime one and i didn't really like it because it tasted like toilet cleaner and every time i see prime I want to buy it because I'm like, oh my god, I, like they've actually got it in stock. Even though I don't really care for it. It's really weird how marketers can do that. Do you know what I mean? Like supply and demand and all that. Like why am I 22 years old buying Prime for myself? I don't know, but I got sucked in. This smells of... Oh my god, what does that smell of? It oh my god, it smells like an ice lolly. I can't think what ice lolly it smells like, but it smells like that. It's like a clear, like, like a weird clear cut of liquid as well. I actually quite like that. I don't know what that tastes like. Oh, I've just spilt it on me. Fantastic. Like, what even is Metamoon? I don't even know what that is. It says candy fruit flavour drink. So I don't really know what that is. It's a hydration drink, though, and I need to go on a run today or tomorrow. I need to go on a run basically every day. So maybe I'll have that after or before. Is that a good idea? I don't really know what this actually is. I don't really get Prime. There's Conditioning Flavours, Refresh, Replenish and Refuel. Maybe I'll have that as a little post-run drink later on today or at some point when I go on a run this week. One of my many runs that I'm going to be doing this week. I feel like I should try it again to try and explain it a bit better because I really didn't explain it. It tastes quite artificial, like which I feel like is no surprise. It just tastes sweet of like sweets or something like that. It's more edible than the lemon and lime one though because I really did not enjoy that. So, so you just walked into my car. It's okay though, don't worry. Um, yes, it's okay. I don't know why I bought it but i just got sucked into the prime the prime hype but when you see metamine apparently you have to buy it so i did anyway i'm gonna go home now what is the time um but yeah maybe i'll have these for lunch if i do i'll try them with you if i don't i won't i'll try them at some point anyway right i really am rambling hello i am now home and i'm absolutely starving so i thought i actually will have um the beans today because it's like a super quick and easy lunch and i also bought these oh my god one of my favorite um Chocolate bars, I thought I'd finish them all. There was a rogue one. I'm obsessed with these at the moment. I'm gonna have that in a minute as well. That's also gonna be part of my lunch. I actually don't know where that just fell from in the cupboard, but it's like it was sent to me from a god above. Um, anyway, I bought these last week and they're scary naan breads, because how fun is that? And like I said, this can says um, to have this with um, naan bread. It says, form an orderly cube Brits. We've tumbled two of your fave flavors together just in time for curry night. You bring the naan and we'll deliver tender beans and a creamy tangy tikka masala sauce. So that's gonna be my lunch. I feel like it's a very rogue lunch, but like I don't really know what else to have with that. So I'm gonna give it a go and see what we think. Like I am gonna chuck the naan breads in the air fryer because I have been a converted girly. I mean, I was never against air fries anyway, but I feel like 
we either have, well, no, that's actually, I was gonna say we either have an air fryer or you don't, but that is obviously common sense. But I feel like everyone that has an air fryer is like, I'm just gonna put it in the air fryer. I'm just gonna chuck it in the air fryer. But you can literally chuck anything in the air fryer, well, within reason. And it's so much quicker, especially because like I said last week, I've got an Arga. It is actually converted, so it's now electric, but like to heat the Arga up, takes a lot longer than putting in the air fryer. And when it's just me as well, it's obviously a lot cheaper electricity wise. So it's a win, win, win. So I'm gonna put one of these. Yeah, I'm gonna have a whole one. Look at how cool they are. Ah, that is like the most fun food I think I've ever seen. Um, I'm gonna put one of these in the air fryer and just chuck half a can of this. Yeah, I think half a can would be okay in the microwave and have some lunch. And I'll obviously have a mint chocolate mint seal bar afterwards as my little sweet treat because I'm a girl. I have to have something sweet after I eat every single meal. And then this afternoon, I need to pop to the post office to send off a parcel, which I was gonna do on my way home, but I forgot to bring tape with me to tape up the parcel. And I'm gonna go for a run. I don't actually know how long I've got to run today, but I'm gonna go for a run because it's a nice day. So it makes sense to do it. Oh my God, this is bizarre because it smells like tomato soup, Pine's tomato soup. This is what they look like. Interesting. Um, so yes, I shall go for a run. I was gonna make the Nando's pasta that I'm having tonight. I wanted, I saw this on Instagram and I think you use like plastic cheese, you know, like the square plastic American kind of cheese to do it. And I was gonna do that, but then I figured that actually probably isn't gonna taste very nice. So I decided not to, but look at how cool this is. I think you just use like plastic cheese and olives. I saw it on Instagram and I was gonna do that, like I said, but I've just decided, you know what? I'm just gonna do normal Nando's chicken pasta. And then I've also just got a load of vintage parcels that I need to package up because I've sold loads of stuff on my vintage over the weekend. So I'm gonna package them up and also take them to the post office today as well. So that is this afternoon's plans, just mainly like errands really. I'm gonna save tomorrow for more of like a filming and editing today. I mean, I've been filming today anyway, to be fair. I've got loads of content this morning, obviously, but this afternoon I'm just gonna get my life together a little bit and get some stuff done after the weekend. Ready for a super busy week? This week is a busy week for me, but I'm gonna tell you about that later on because I feel like I'm rambling today. I feel like I'm having long chats, which I absolutely love, but I don't want to bore you at the same time. So I will see you once my lunch is ready and we can give her a little, a little taste test. My lunch is now ready, but I did accidentally break the little I don't even know what this is meant to be. Is this meant to be like a skull or something? Um, when I got it out of the packaging, I broke it, which I'm quite sad about, but I'll try the beans on their own first. I don't know why I'm standing up. I literally moved the camera so I can sit down and eat my lunch with you, but there we go. This is quite a wide frame, isn't it, for this? Oh well, I'm just gonna quickly try them and then I will eat my tikka masala beans in peace, so. I am unsure how I feel about that because at first it tastes like normal baked beans slash Heinz tomato soup. But then you get like an afterburn. Like my mouth is really hot now. Like not too hot, but like a nice, like a curry heat intensity. But I don't dislike them because I'm going back for seconds, but I can't work out whether I would buy another can. I'd also be intrigued to try the other ones because the fact they have three different ones makes me think there should at least be like a variation of flavor. Do you know what I mean? Not just like one curry bean. They've actually gone for a variety. I actually think I kind of love it because I am a girl who loves curry. And if I could just have that sat in my cupboard for an easy lunch, that I could have a delicious taste of curry without actually having to cook a curry or order one, I kind of love that. Because I know you can buy like chicken curry in a can, but that is not something I will be consuming at all in my lifetime. But this, because it's beans in a can, but it tastes like a curry, it's like the best of both worlds because my brain can cope with beans in a can. I just can't cope with chicken curry in a can. If I put the beans on the naan bread, is that now basically an Indian version of beans on toast? Mm. After having a few more bites, I've decided I'm in fact quite a big fan of this. We're getting there, we've seen a horse, it's so autumnal. There are so many autumnal leaves on the floor and I'm actually loving it. I've been out a lot today, obviously I was in Cambridge, but it's still nice to just get out, get some fresh air and just enjoy the autumnal sunshine because I absolutely love this weather. Good morning, happy Halloween. It is Tuesday, it is the 31st of October and I can't lie, yesterday's vibes are not quite here today. That sounds really negative and it's not negative, but yesterday I felt so productive. I got so much done, I was feeling really good. Today I've got period pains, I've got a headache and I just feel tired. I just feel a little bit like lethargic, not quite ready to power through the day today. But I'm just gonna listen to my body. I'm gonna take it a little bit easier. I've just filmed a video this morning for today. So I've got that done. 
I need to edit that this afternoon. I'm gonna be out all day in London with Mia tomorrow, so I don't wanna like burn myself out today that I feel tired tomorrow. So we're gonna take it a little bit easier today. But like I said, I filmed a video this morning. I now need to go to Aldi to do a food shop. I went downstairs this morning. I had in my head I was gonna have a bowl of Frosties and I went downstairs and I opened the fridge and there was literally no milk. And then I went to the bread bin and I opened the bread bin and there was no bread. So I ended up having a bagel. Luckily we had some bagels, but we are desperately in need of a food shop basically. So I'm gonna pop to the shops this morning do a food shop and then this afternoon I'm going to work out what I'm going to wear tomorrow and I'm also going to edit the What's New Primark I filmed yesterday and I'm going to edit the video I filmed this morning which is my autumnal outfit ideas. So that is today's plan basically. Nothing too major. I wanted to get a lot more filmed this morning but I also forgot to fake tie my hands last night so um that's a little bit of an issue. I've also taken off all my fake nails. Um, I'm gonna put a new set on today. So I thought let's just film the video that I need to film for today. And then the other videos I had planned to film today, I'm just gonna film another day when I'm feeling a little bit better. I just need to listen to my body, listen to my hormones and all that. So that is the plan. I'm wearing this super, super comfy set from, um, where's this from? It's from, I can't remember the brand. It's from TikTok shop. It's linked on my TikTok. I've got a video. If you go on my TikTok, I've got a video of me in this on my TikTok basically. And the link is on there, but it's so comfy. You can also, wear it like that but I'm just really loving it wearing it off the shoulder at the moment they do it in quite a few colors as well and it's literally the comfiest it feels like pajamas but it looks a little bit more put together than pajamas or at least I personally think some people probably will think that I'm wearing pajamas when I'm at the food shop but this is what I'm gonna wear so I'm comfy but I'm not actually technically in pajamas that is the plan I'm gonna stop rambling let's get in the car let's pick up the shopping bags let's go to Audi <laughs> Look at how cute these are. They've got Halloween foods here, but I don't know what to do with them. Like, what are you meant to put that with? And they've also got little pumpkin burgers, but I don't really fancy them for dinner. But these look good, but I don't know what to serve them with because they're just like beef kebabs, so I don't really know what to do. Oh my god, look at these in the freezer section, bake at home cookies. I'm not gonna get them today because I've already got another dessert, but I'm definitely gonna get them next time because I'm so intrigued to try them. quickly popped into B&M because I saw this on Instagram yesterday and I had to come and get it. It's a Kinder selection box, which is so for me. It's only 3 dollars I mean, it's quite small, but you get all these in it. So it's like Heroes, but Kinder version, which is literally for me. I was going to get Mum to get me it for Christmas, but I'm too scared it's going to sell out, so I'm just going to get it now. I got this one last year and I absolutely loved it because I'm a lover of like picking much chocolate. This one this year looks really good though. And also they have a like a selection box like that as well. That looks so nice. Look at how cool this is. It's like an Australian chocolates box with like loads of different ones we don't get from the UK. That is so cool. Oh my God. Look at this set. It's all like pick and mix sweets, but in one of these things I always see on TikTok, they're meant to be really good for like taking snacks on the plane. Hello, I'm home. I'm home from the food shop. I have two bags full of stuff. So it's obviously time for a food shop haul. First up, I've got some cereal. I've gone off my phase of Frosties. I tend to go through phases of cereal of being absolutely obsessed with it for a few weeks to a few months and then I just get bored and then I get a new cereal. So this is a new cereal that potentially I will be obsessed with for the next few weeks. Basically, chocolate chip wheat mix. Caramel rice cakes. I've not had these in literal years, but I used to be obsessed with, is it Snack Jacks? Is that the company? I don't know. Some lentil crisps for my brother. And some, these are new, um, tiles. Basically, dupes of squares, salt and vinegar. Um, I've never seen these before, but I got those for me. Bean sprouts, because I think on Thursday, I'm gonna do like a homemade Chinese. I'm gonna do chicken chow mein, is that how you say it? I never get it right. Like a crispy chili beef, prawn toast, and some pepper chips, I think. So I've got some bean sprouts for that. And I also got spring onions and peppers. Oh, and I also got this. I thought, because I'm not feeling 100% today, and it is Halloween and everything, I saw this and I couldn't resist. It's a little chocolate apple. How Halloween-y and autumnal. It's white chocolate with marshmallows on top. So I thought for 69 pence, 
that would make me happy today. That's me, my little treat this afternoon whilst I'm editing and I'm actually very excited for it. I got some cereal bars and then I did that thing where I got, I don't know where the other is, where I got sucked in at the till. The other week I bought the Serene Banana Loaf Bar to try and see if I liked it and then my brother ate it. So I never got to try it. So I got another one to give it a go. And then I saw these by the till. I don't know, these are definitely new and I don't know whether they do a multi-pack of them like actually in the shop, but I didn't see them. But they're strawberry yogurt bites and then also banana ones. I love the strawberry ones. I've never tried banana ones before, but I do love banana. So I got those to try and then if I like them, I'll see if they actually do like a pack of five or whatever when I next go. But they were just like on the checkout bit by the till. Bananas, milk, some noodles for the Chinese, eggs, some chicken and some hummus, and a steak to do the crispy chili beef some sausages because i didn't know what to have for dinner tonight i was originally planning to do like a mashed sweet potato pulled beef sweet corn and barbecue beans kind of meal i did it a little while ago i think like back in january in one of the weekly vlogs then i made it then because i had that at this like barbecue smokehouse restaurant in new york when i went last christmas and i was gonna make that today but i just really wasn't feeling it so i didn't really know what else to have and then i suddenly thought of having a classic nursery dinner my mum would call it of sausage chips and beans and i'll do some sweet corn and some peas for my brother but i'm probably just gonna be an unhealthy queen and just have baked beans these are also new there is so much new food in aldi at the moment and we all know i love food so i get so excited when there's new foods because they had like pocky they had those like frozen chocolate chip cookies you know like the pocky um biscuit thingies they had them They've got so many like new foods at the moment. So I've got a few of the new in bits and I had to resist and wait until next time to get the rest because I don't need to get every single new food thing now, but I just get excited to try them. Um, and they've come out with whipped cheesecake inspired split pots, which I can't, is it Muller that do these? They're salted caramel flavour. I think it's Muller that does them, like Muller Corners, but um, I used to love them. I haven't had them for years, but I remember really liking them. So when I saw they did a dupe, I thought I might as well get them. And then I also got these, which I'm so excited about. They have another one, which is a brookie, which is like brownie and cookie, but they didn't have them in stock, but they had the s'mores ones. They give them goo pud vibes because they're in like the glass, little glass things that goo puddings are in. How delightful. Baked dessert with marshmallow, cookie crumble and dark chocolate. Absolutely sign me right up for that. And chocolate mini rolls for my brother's lunch. And also I will have them as a snack, absolutely. And some milk chocolate wafer bars because I've decided I've eaten way too many of the mint chocolate seal bars from Aldi recently that I needed to change up. So I got these and these are also really good. Some spaghetti hoops and some baked beans. A pouch of rice because these are so handy to have in the cupboard just for like a nice quick and easy lunch. Another new food find, which I'm so excited about, dreamy loaded crispies. Crispy chocolate slices loaded with a creamy fondant layer that is melt in the mouth delicious. These look delightful. Look at how nice they look. And they also have Jive brownies and Jive is Audi's equivalent of Twix. So they're like a caramel brownie thing, but I decided to get these ones today to try. And then I also got the Milk Chocolate Curious Inventions by Audi because Marvelous Creations Chocolate Bar from Cadbury's is potentially my favorite chocolate bar. So I'm really intrigued to try the Audi equivalent and see what it's like. And I also love Minero and they do a Minero dupe in Audi. So I thought I'd give those a go. The chocolate drawer, we have a chocolate drawer in our house just for like in the evening when you want something sweet. And the chocolate drawer is pretty empty. So I took it upon myself to take one for the team and fill up the chocolate drawer. So I got those. And then I also got the pack of strawberry laces because sometimes I just fancy something like sweets rather than chocolate. So I just got a pack of those. Oops. I've got a jar of chocolate spread, Nutella dupe type thing. And then I fancied some like fish fingers or something. It was a really random craving type thing, but I just really fancied them. Um, but rather than getting fish fingers, I saw these. And at my big old age of 22, I decided to get these instead because these are in the shape of a little fish. <laughs> they are called little fishes and they're fish and potato in breadcrumbs. So I think it's a bit more like a... Um, a bit like a fish finger, but a bit like a fish cake because it's got potato in it. But I got sucked in by the fact that they're shaped like little fishes. And then I also got some french fries because we don't have any chips, I don't think. And we needed them for tonight's dinner. So I'm going to put them... Is that everything? Yeah, let me just put these in the freezer. I'll turn you off a second and then I will be back. That might look very random meal-wise and mainly... I've got mainly like snacky little bits, but for dinner tonight, I've taught you three meals for the week. For dinner tonight, sausage, chips and beans, like I said. Tomorrow night we're going to have a chili con carne that has already been made and put in the freezer. 
because I'm going to be in London all day tomorrow, so I didn't really fancy cooking. So I'm just going to get that out of the freezer and then cook some rice to go with it tomorrow night. Thursday, I'm going to do the homemade Chinese. Friday, I haven't decided on yet. We've got loads of meat, like chicken and stuff in the freezer that I could use. So I'll decide on that later in the week because I'm not too sure. I'm out all day on Friday again, and I don't know if I'm going to Josh's in the evening or what. So I'm going to decide that close to time. Saturday, my parents are home, so that... That's that basically. So that is the meal for the week. I did also pop into B&M like I showed you because I saw this on Instagram and I needed this in my life and I'm scared it was gonna sell out. So I think I'm gonna just get mum to get this, get, get mum to give this to me for my Chris, no. Let me try that sentence for a third time. Get mum to give this to me for Christmas. But I thought I'll buy it now because otherwise if I wait, if I say to mum, can you get me this for Christmas? When she goes to get it, it'll be sold out. So I just thought, let's get it now um, because a kinder selection box is everything I need in my life. And then also yesterday, obviously I went to b and and I got this Flumps Mallow spread, which we're gonna use and try in a second. And I also got these, which you would have seen in a random clip that I in edited into the video. I got these last week, white chocolate digestives. So I'm gonna make a little ghost coffee with this. I'll show you what I mean in a second because I've seen it on Instagram and then we're gonna try these. And then I will get on with um, trying out this for tomorrow and doing some editing. I'm just gonna quickly put the food truck away, then we shall go on to that. Okay, so for this, I'm gonna make a ghost latte, like a ghost coffee. This is what I saw on TikTok the other day. This is what I'm gonna do. So you basically like put marshmallow fluff around the cup and then like make it look like a marshmallow. No, make it look like a ghost. I'm gonna do it in a glass cup. Oh, do you know what? Why did I just not do it in this? I could have made my life easier and just done a coffee in that and called it a ghost latte, but I suppose that's not as fun. I'm just gonna use this like white boy marker um, with my favorite glass ever from Zara. They're so nice. And do this little ghost latte. So I'll make that, then we'll try the digestives. Then I'll leave you in peace for a bit because that was a long food trouble. Look at how cute that is. The pen's not going like super dark. Oh, actually that's a little bit better. Maybe I just needed to press a bit harder. Oh my God, this is genius. How cute is that? You could also do this with like a hot chocolate, especially if you had a glass mug, that would work so well. Cause the marshmallows would actually work better with chocolate. Like I feel like this marshmallow, this coffee could taste a bit weird because of the marshmallows, but with a hot chocolate, this would work so well. Oh my God, that is adorable. I'm gonna redo this one. I'm also thinking at like Christmas, you could do the same thing with like a little snowman, like use the marshmallow fluff and do two little blobs and then do like snowman iced coffees and stuff. I feel like I'm gonna drink every single iced coffee like that for the rest of the year now, because this is genius. <laughs> Oh my God, look at how cute. I feel like I might need to do another shot of coffee. I feel like this might be really milky, but we're gonna give her a try before, cause I'm a bit scared that, let me actually take a picture of it before I do anything else. Cause I'm scared the marshmallow is gonna melt. This is the cutest coffee glass I think I've ever drank out of. Like I am literally obsessed with this. Why did I not think about this sooner? Because I literally would have drunk all my coffees like this this month. To be fair, it's not actually too milky. I don't even know why I'm trying it because it doesn't really look any different, but I thought the, Marshmallow might affect the coffee, but it actually doesn't. Like it stayed in place and it's not going in the coffee, which is good. Cause I did think, I don't know if I want like a marshmallow coffee, but it actually works really well. So that is my coffee made. Now let's just quickly try. I'm also really excited to just be able to sit and eat with a spoon of this. I don't know how I'm gonna find these cause I love white chocolate, but the thought of a white chocolate digested to me sounds like it's gonna be really, really sweet. But I've heard really good things about them. So, hmm. Oh, do you know what? I think I'm actually gonna be a big fan of this. This is what she's looking like. Okay, I'm a fan. They don't beat the caramel digestives, in my opinion, with like the milk chocolate top. They are the most elite digestives, but these are definitely in my top three. I'd say probably caramel digestives, dark chocolate digestives, with white chocolate digestives, normal digestives. But I also do feel like these white chocolate digestives, how many times am I gonna say that word? I feel like these could really grow on me and could potentially move up to second place. Mm. Right, I'm now gonna love and leave you for a little bit. This will only be like two seconds, you'll see me in a second, but for me, I'm gonna leave you for a couple of hours, get some editing done, and then I'll see you in a bit. Hello, it is now 20 to four. I'm actually in my pajamas because I've just finished trying on outfits for tomorrow and then I was like, I might as well just put my pajamas on, some comfy. And I've also just filmed a TikTok on this, which is from Skin Gym and it's this hyaluronic acid, um, like serum stick thing. It's got all these ingredients in it. I can't remember whether, did I unbox this in a weekly vlog or not? I don't know when it arrived, I can't remember. But it looks really cool, they've got a few of them. Um, like a vitamin C one, 
and stuff so i'm really intrigued to try this because it's just really convenient packaging you just like swipe all over your face so maybe we'll try that later on in the weekly vlog but i filmed a tiktok on that i've got today's video ready to go live and now i'm gonna have my chocolate apple oh that's gonna bug me let's just turn that off i've got my chocolate apple which i'm so excited to eat is it a green apple oh i think it's a green apple i don't really like green apples that much but it's covered in chocolate so it'll be fine <laughs> but yeah i'm gonna eat that and edit my what's new and prime up from yesterday and just do like a various um a various bit a few more bits of editing i've also sold some more things on vintage my vintage is going crazy at the moment so i'm gonna package them up as well but i just thought i'd update you and let you know that is currently where i'm at also i still have some of this left which is insane they probably won't sell it anymore because it's a halloween thing but i know they've got a very similar one out for christmas it's from m s and it's this like i think it's called Halla Halla scream munch and it's basically got loads of different things in it which is so up my street because i just love variety and i love chocolate with texture it's even got um the little popcorn things in you know that i showed you the advent calendar of yesterday oh no it's actually not even popcorn it's um little pretzel clusters but still it's got popcorn in it and it's absolutely delicious so i'm probably gonna i think i'll eat this now and then this i'll save for this evening to watch big brother and married at first sight i am literally like a broken record aren't i all i'm talking about at the moment is watching married at first sight and big brother and running a marathon that is literally all i seem to talk about this is about to be the most random vlog clip I've ever filmed, but I've just tried these, the squares dupes that I got from Audi earlier. They're not that great to be honest. They don't really taste like the squares, like they're very different. They're a different texture and like the salt and vinegar only really lasts at the start. However, they taste the salt and vinegar crisps at the start and then at the end, they have like a poppadom taste, which is so random, but I absolutely love poppadoms. And normally you can't get them in like a little bag like this. Do you know what I mean? You get them in like a tub or a big bag of them. So I'm actually taking that as a win because it tastes like a salt and vinegar crisp at the start, but then it ends up with a poppadom, which I also love. So it's like a win-win, best of both worlds, two in one. So there's a little review on them in case anyone is curious. I don't know why I'm taking them back here, actually. I finished them, so I might as well put them in the bin. And I've made a start on dinner. I've put the sausages in the oven. I'm going to cook the chips in... You can't really see them. I'm going to cook the chips in the air fryer, so I've put the sausages in there. And then the beans, sweet corn and peas can just be done in the microwave. So dinner is on and it is not 8 o'clock, it is 7 o'clock because we can't be bothered to change this clock since the clock's went back. Good morning. Happy Wednesday. It is November the 1st. I cannot believe it. I cannot believe how we're already in November and I just need to quickly show you something before I get on to what I want to talk about because I saw this, um, Mariah Carey posted this either last night or this morning, I'm not really too sure, but it's the most iconic thing I think I've ever seen in my life. I absolutely love it. This is it. <laughs> when I saw that like the Christmas music is making me so excited and I'm really conflicted like it's November the 1st today so I agree Halloween is over I've still got the ghosts on the bed but we haven't got time to sort that this morning but I know a lot of people are starting to like do Christmas earlier like I feel like the past few years people are putting their Christmas trees up like early November which I don't think I'm gonna do but like do I listen to Christmas music this morning in the car on the way to the train station or is that too early? Anyway, it is Wednesday. Today's plan is a very exciting one. I'm dressed in an all grey outfit and it is very grey outside, which is why I've had to put my light on for this um, clip because if I didn't have the light on, it would have been so dark and it would have been so grainy. So I'm sorry for the dodgy lighting. It's better than what it would have been. But yeah, I'm going into London with Mia today and we're going to go shopping and I'm literally so excited. This is London Shopping 2.0 with Mia, take two, because as you'd have seen earlier on in the vlog, we went to go shopping but it didn't work out. So today is a whole day dedicated to shopping. We've not got any events or anything. We're not going to spend time having brunch. We are getting there, getting a coffee and then getting on with shopping and I literally cannot wait. So I'm going to be filming a separate come shop with me video. So um, I'm not sure how much I'll vlog today because I'll be focusing on filming that, but I'll try and vlog some clips here and there. I also thought I could do a little outfit of the day this morning. I got this trench in the post yesterday and I'm obsessed with it. It's from um, Miss Pap on Miss Pap or Nasty Girl. It's from Nasty Girl, actually. I'll leave a link down below. And then my little two-piece is from Pretty Little Thing. I very kindly got gifted these leggings, and then I bought the top to go with it. And then I've got some grey Converse on. And I did actually also get gifted a couple other bits from Pretty Little Thing. So I thought we might as well quickly do a little haul. Let me just check. I've got time. Yeah, it's 8.22. I need to leave in 20 minutes. So we've got time quickly to do a Pretty Little Thing haul. So I also got the little grey shorts to match because I thought that would be perfect so I can have the little grey t-shirt and the grey shorts and then the leggings and like I can mix and match which I love and then I also got um 
this color which is such a nice material this is like giving adenola and skims vibes this is in the color bone i'll leave everything linked down below but they're just again basic leggings but they are so comfy and thick like the quality on these is literally ridiculous i don't really know if you can tell like they're buttery they're so nice and they also do um various different things of this like a long sleeve top a zip up jacket shorts um same with the gray you can kind of mix and match and they do loads of different things and then i also got these gray trousers because i just thought these were fun i love trousers like this like um high-waisted wide leg tailored trousers we all know i wear these all the time but i didn't have a gray pair i'm really in my gray era apparently literally says that because i've worn gray today um but i really like these they're kind of like a gray mull kind of color and i got these in a size six and they look really nice i feel like with this top with like a white little t-shirt they'd look really cool so that is what i got from pretty little thing and then um my bag for today um, i'm gonna wear this one because i feel like it works really well we're going all gray vibes to literally match the weather i mean it is absolutely chucking it down right now and i'm really sad about it but it says it's meant to stop at like nine so i really hope that it does because i don't want it to be raining in london i literally don't have anything in this bag i need to oh i need to take the tissue paper out of it to start with uh, i need to pack it so i'm gonna bring with me my kindle because i wanted to bring this the other day into london but my bag wasn't big enough this fits perfectly and then i can read my kindle on the train not have to worry about phone charge talking of phone charge let's pack a charging lead so i can charge it up on the train i'm also going to bring my lash glue and tweezers and my little got to be stick for any flyaways i also used um one of my trigwell brushes today i'm really struggling to say that um i use this contour one because you know i was saying at the start of the vlog i still use my real techniques brushes from like 2016 well my contour one the other day literally i was doing my contour and i was like that looks so stripey and then i realized it was brush hairs on my face so i went to pull out the loose brush hairs and literally a whole clump of the brush came out so that's kind of that's the end of that so it's very convenient time again the trigger one so i used the brush today and i also used the big powder puff and it is so thick and luxurious i didn't use any of the other makeup because i didn't want to risk it like being out all day in london today i wanted to use makeup i'm like do you know what i mean i wanted to use my huda beauty powder because i know that it lasts but i'll try the trigger one another day got my two camera batteries then i'll pack you with another battery in i'm gonna bring some headphones my airpods never have charged so i'm just gonna bring wire headphones because at least i know they're always gonna work i'm gonna bring a pair of sunglasses which is incredibly optimistic oh my god where is my lipstick i need to put my lipstick and i don't know where that is sunglasses optimistic but i'm hoping might also bring my tripod that could be handy and i've got room in my bag today so i might as well um so that is the outfit of the day i'm gonna head to the station now and then go to london and meet mia gonna get a coffee from blank street this morning which i'm so excited about because i've never tried a coffee from blank street but they're meant to be really good so i'm gonna do that and get a pastry i will maybe vlog some clips it's gonna be difficult because obviously i'm trying to film a separate video so i'll see what i end up filming today but i'm off into london i'm super excited and i will see you there this weather is absolutely foul but it does say it's meant to stop in the next hour hallelujah because i actually can't cope with this weather i'm just gonna put a random place on i don't really have time to um time to choose something so we're gonna go for sure gonna go why don't i go australian then that was the worst accent ever i can't believe i just did that i'm so shockingly bad accent i'm also really bugged really bugged really annoyed um that that last clip was like the worst lighting ever but honestly i wouldn't have been able to film without my light on god the clutch control here is just insane um right i'm heading to the station i'm hoping i can park nice and close to the station because i don't want to get wet Like, I cannot wait to see Mia. Even though it's raining, normally this would like put a dampener on my mood. I'm still so excited because A, I know it's meant to start raining soon, and B, I'm seeing Mia and we're going shopping together in London and we're gonna have a blank sheet coffee and the vibes are gonna be good and I'm just so excited to see her and I just love spending time with her and we're just gonna have the best day ever. And I'm just really, really good and I just thought I'd let you know about that. So, yeah. I also wasn't sure about this outfit yesterday when I tried it on, I was like, mm. but now I've got it on, I'm actually kind of loving it. Oh, I forgot to, perfect. I forgot to cut the tag out of my trench coat. I love that for me. I always do that. I literally always do that. And I had nobody at home this morning to tell me I still had a tag in it. Fantastic. Uh, we're nearly at the train station though, which is fantabulous. Don't know why I've just said that word. Um, but yeah, I thought I'd date you, let you know the vibes are good. I'm feeling comfy, which is the main thing. 
so I feel like I have actually made the right decision with this outfit. I just wasn't too sure enough. I feel like it's a bit too casual for London, but actually, seeing as we're going shopping, it's a practical and comfy outfit, so it's clever. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling now because I need to try and save some camera battery and I'll see you in London. Bye! Hello, weekly vlog. It is now half four, or about to be, and I finished off with Mia. I got some stuff, so I'll give you a haul when I get home, but um, I've got a bit of time for my train, and whilst I wait, for my train I thought I'd pop to McDonald's and get myself a little hot chocolate because they've come out with um, a new Galaxy hot chocolate today and I really fancy a little hot chocolate for the train so I thought we could give it a go I don't feel like I've seen you much today so I thought let's do this together here we go I have her I didn't actually realize but it's Galaxy caramel hot chocolate they also have a Galaxy caramel um, latte as well which I feel like could be quite nice I don't know if it'd be chocolatey though so I'm not a big fan of like chocolatey coffees but I'm walking over to one of these bollards so I can rest you on it and we can try it but look at the fact it's getting dark it's like half full and it's so windy so I really hope that you can hear me and I hope my camera doesn't get blown off this pillar it smells really nice it smells really sweet oh my god that is so good I have just burned my tongue on it that is absolutely boiling I've just burnt my tongue on it but oh my god it's so nice I don't normally like caramel like hot chocolate I'd rather just a straight up hot chocolate but this is actually so nice I'll also, whilst I've got a bit of time for the train, let me just quickly show you what I got today. I'll just quickly do it now, because otherwise, like, look at how dark it's getting. If I wait till I'm home, it's going to be pitch black. So I'll just quickly, this is all for Primark Pool, so you're not going to see that. Bottle of water. I didn't really get much. Oh, actually, do you know what? I can't show you these, because these are out top. This is a pointless clip, but I got this hat from Blank Street. How cool. I just loved it, because it says neighbours only. I thought that was giving expensive vibes. And then look at the back of it. It says Blank Street, which I thought was so cool. I kind of wish it said, like freshly brewed or something like coffee or bakery related because the cap that me no the t-shirt that Mia got on the back of it said like freshly ground baked goods and I think that would have been cuter but this is also giving like expensive vibes like Kanye West almost I feel like so I'm still happy with that I just feel like it would have been a cooler saying and yeah the Primark stuff I showed in Primark haul and then the things wrapped up are two Christmas decorations from Tiger but go and watch the come shop with me if you want to see them because I don't really fancy unwrapping them to then have to wrap them back up so that was a slightly pointless clip, but anyway, me and my hot chocolate are gonna now go and get on the train and go home. I've got a chili con carne for dinner that I got out of the freezer, so all I need to do is cook rice for that, which is perfect. I feel like I didn't give the hot chocolate enough justice. Like, I feel like I didn't tell you in the clip that I actually really quite like it. I mean, I've only had one sip, I need to wait for it to cool down. But from what I tried, I'd give her probably an eight out of 10. And I've also remembered I've got my Kindle. So on the train on the way home, I'm gonna read my book and drink my hot chocolate. And I feel like that is so cozy. Like the perfect cozy vibes to like round off the day go home, have a shower, get my pyjamas on and chill. Good morning, it is now Thursday. I've just been to the post office and I filmed a Zara haul. No, I haven't, that's a complete lie. I filmed a Primark haul and a Shein haul this morning. And now we're gonna do a Zara haul, that is what I was gonna say. Um, I was gonna film a separate like video on a Zara haul, but I've only got a couple of bits, so I've not got enough for a Zara haul. So I thought, why not give you weekly vlog watchers a little exclusive Zara haul? So I've got two parcels here. I also had this delivered yesterday. Just exposed my sofa then, haven't I? So I thought we could open this together and I had another parcel um, yesterday, which I've already opened, but we'll get onto that in a minute. We'll start off with the little Zara haul. When I was shopping with Mia yesterday, and we were in Zara, we saw this tracksuit, which I keep seeing people wear, and I'm really tempted by it. And then Mia picked it up, and I was like, you know what? Let me just take this off so I can not expose my dress because now i'm gonna have to edit that last clip to cover up my dress there we go i was like you know what i might as well get it as well and then i suddenly remembered that i'd already ordered it like i literally had it sat here in my office it arrived the other day and i just have not got around to opening it so i know that that's in here in fact that was pretty convenient that is it here so it's this beige like bomb mat tracksuit so this is the jumper like this big beige jacket i got this in a medium they do it in um, a grey and I feel like they do it in another colour as well maybe a black and then there is some matching trousers to go with it but they're in a separate parcel and then I got some grey jeans but I literally did this order like two weeks ago and the parcels have just been sat in my office and I haven't opened them and I can't remember why I ordered grey jeans like I wanted grey jeans for something so I ordered these like paper bag ones I don't love the top of them but the actual shape of the jeans is quite nice so if I wear something that covers that that will work but I can't remember what I ordered the grey jeans for like I ordered them for a reason and I'm pretty sure I've got another parcel here I'm pretty sure there's another pair of grey jeans in here I can't tell you why I wanted them which is really bad and also really annoying 
I also feel like I look a little bit bold or bald um, because I put my hair like behind the hoodie. Like, because I felt like with this hoodie, if I had my hair down out the hoodie, it just like sits funny. But now I feel like I look like a bald egg. So in here, oh, this is so nice. Do I remember ordering this? No, I absolutely do not. I've just opened it and I'm like, wow, I've got good taste. This is a wool blazer. Oh my God, I love this. This is in a large. It doesn't actually look that big, so I'm glad I oversized it. It's a little bit of an itchy, scratchy material, but it's like um, herringbone kind of. That is so nice. It's like beige, like dark brown and cream stitching, super, super close. Can you see that? So like from far away, it just looks like a really nice color. This was 60 pound. Like I said, I got it in a large. I kind of wish I got the extra large to be honest because it looks quite big. It's giving countryside vibes, but I kind of love that. I'm excited to try that on. And then I got this, which is like a little knitted waistcoat. This I've had in my saved list on um, Zara for ages. And I kept getting drawn to it, but I just didn't really know what to wear it with. And now it's turned up. It's quite like a buttermilky yellow color which I'm not a big fan of. I'd rather it be like an actual cream, but this is like, you know, like a buttery sort of color, but it's like a knit, little knitted oversized waistcoat. And the model looked quite nice wearing this, but I think I might return that because I'm not really feeling it. But I got that in a size small. I've got another pair of, oh my God. I've got, I ordered three pairs of gray jeans. I can't even remember what I wanted gray jeans for. Why did I want gray jeans? I actually have no idea. I've got another pair of paper bag ones just in a different size. And these are actually like green with a snake belt, which is just not a vibe. I ordered these because these were like a carrot fit, which is a fit that I really like. They look grey on camera, but they're like a um, like a turquoisey like green in person. So they're definitely being returned. And then finally, we have the joggers to go with the um, jacket. So I got these in a size small. They're twenty two ninety nine, and they're these like wide leg cream joggers. So they go like this to go with the bomber jacket. And then the night before last, I was browsing on Boohoo and I saw they came out of this tracksuit and I was like, oh my God, that is literally a dupe of the Zara one. So I thought I'd get it to try it. They only had it in grey and online it looked so much more acid washy than it is. And I'm really glad it's not as acid washy as it looked. But this is basically a dupe of that tracksuit. So you get the bomber jacket type aspect and then you also get the wide leg joggers again. They've even got like the stitching detail. They've also got drawstrings. They're just like tucked in there. And then these are them. So now I've basically got the tracksuit in both the beige and the gray. I kind of wish I got the gray one from Zara just so that I could have compared like the same color. Do you know what I mean? But you can still see like the same style. And this one, I think this was 25 pound or 30 pound for this. You buy it together and I got it in a small. And then the Zara one was $22.99 just for the bottoms. And then the jacket was $29.99. So obviously the Boohoo one is a much cheaper alternative. To be honest, the Zara one feels a bit nicer. It's a bit of a softer, thicker material. This one feels a little bit more like, just not as nice quality, but then you kind of get what you pay for. So that is my little Zara haul and also my little Boohoo find. I did share a link to this on my Instagram story. Like I literally saw it on Boohoo, ordered it, and then added a link to my Instagram story so that other people could get it. So that is your sign. If you're not following me on Instagram, follow me on Instagram because you get like more up to date out like updates and that, you know what I mean? Because like I will leave that um tracksuit link down below, but by the time this video goes live, it might be out of stock. Whereas obviously Instagram is like up to date. So make sure you follow me on there. And now we have this parcel, which I think I know what this is because I'm waiting on something that I've been gifted from Flamify. But that does not look like Oh no, this is not that. I'm waiting on a jacket from Glamify and I thought that this was it, but it's not. This is a jacket I ordered. This was another AliExpress purchase because I'm just obsessed with it. I've been waiting on this for a while actually. It's had a bit of a delay with delivery, but it's this like black um, black jacket. Oh, this looks too short. I wanted it to be a t-shirt dress, but maybe if I wore like black shorts underneath it, I could kind of get away with it. So it's this like black felt jacket with this white piping. But what I loved about it was the fact you could get this scarf because then the scarf's like that. And then this is actually quite a good try on clip for actually not trying it on. And then you wear like that. And I'll just show you the picture I saw that made me want to get it. This girl, my phone's just up here, bear with me. Also, I've got these leggings on from Primark. They're the fluffy lined ones and I'm obsessed with them. I bought a black pair last year, but I just never got around to wearing them. So it's the first time I've tried the really fluffy, can you see that? The fluffy leggings from Primark. Oh my God, they are so thick. They're such good quality. I literally can't believe them. They're so warm, they're so thick. And I love the gray mile. Like it's such a perfect, 
grey mild colour. I'm literally obsessed with them. This is the picture that made me want this jacket. This girl wearing it. Like, that's how I'm thinking of wearing it. I don't know. Why is that? I don't know if that's in focus. Just doesn't look like that's focusing. There you go. And then also, they do it in... Um, this is another reason why I wanted it. This is how I'm thinking of wearing it with these boots. Look at how nice that looks. I don't know if you can see that properly. I feel like the lighting isn't showing up properly. But they also do it in a few different colours. So they've got like this khaki colour. And they also have a beige colour. And I've seen um, a few people like link this on TikTok shop as well. So I think you can get one off TikTok. So I'm excited to style that. Maybe my jacket from Glamify Fashion is arriving later on today. I've got a jacket coming and I'm really, really excited about it. So when that arrives, I will show you. Do you know what I've also just thought? That cap that I bought yesterday, which is in this office somewhere. I'm just trying to work out where I put it. I can't see it anywhere. The jacket, no, the um, cap that I bought yesterday is probably going to look so good with this. Let me just find it. I found it. This is the hat that I got yesterday. Oh, it's a little bit darker. Um, I showed you it, obviously, but I'm just showing you it again because that wasn't a very good clip where I showed it. I haven't even tried this on yet, so let's give it a try it needs a little bit of adjusting because it looks it's a bit big but what do we think is that i think that's a good shape hat because sisters and seekers do hats and i've got a few of them and i love their hats like i love their slogans and stuff but they just fit really weirdly they're just a really weird shape hat whereas i feel like this one's quite good and i love um the fact it's got the writing on the back i'm just obsessed with that but the tracksuit is a little bit of a lighter shade than the hat but i feel like i can make it work i'm actually going to quickly try the tracksuit one i feel like we want to see it we'll try the boohoo one on and we'll try the zara one on then you can see what they both look like so let's do that okay so this is the beige zara one which i absolutely love obviously you could wear like these like undone as well i feel like if you put like a white vest top on underneath like both the um, beige and the gray one and then wore like the jacket kind of like unzipped or open could look really nice but this is it you can't really see it that well but it fits so nicely like the material just makes it hang so nicely it's comfy it's kind of giving vicky pollard but like 2023 <laughs> neutral girl clean girl aesthetic vibes and i do kind of love it like i'm not really tracksuit girly but this i'm kind of here for and then now remember that okay remember what this one looks like now we'll try the gray one on and then we have the gray one which i'm gonna be honest i do definitely prefer the zara one but i think that's a because the beige is more me so like color wise and b it is made a bit nicer like this is still a nice tracksuit but like the zara one feels a little bit more luxurious and a little bit more like plush but then obviously you do kind of get what you pay for but this is giving the same vibes like it looks kind of the same i think obviously it would have worked better if i had the gray zara one so it's a bit more of a side by side comparison color wise but this still works really well like it's still giving the same vibe and obviously it's a lot cheaper so we can't really we can't really knock her do i keep the zara one as well though because i don't really need both but i kind of love the zara one a little bit more so i don't really know what to do i'm also so excited to style this hat i'm just obsessed with this hat like i just love it just can't wait to wear this look at the back i know he's on like the back of the hat but the back of the hat is just so cool so yeah that is my tracksuit dupe my little zara haul um what is the time it is it is 11 25 i'm going to what am i going to do this afternoon i was going to go on a run but it's currently like really rainy and like windy and i'm just not really i'm a bit of a fair weather runner which i can't really afford to be a fair weather runner when i live in england and we're coming into winter and i need to train but i'm just not really feeling it to be honest with you <laughs> so unless it dries up i won't unless it dries up i probably won't be doing that but um i'm gonna edit this afternoon i think that is literally what i'm gonna do i'm gonna spend the afternoon at my desk on my laptop editing just getting various bits and bobs done i'm actually just gonna quickly film a tiktok on this tracksuit as well oh this one doesn't have pockets i think the zara one has pockets no it doesn't okay that's complete light anyway um so yeah i'm gonna do that this afternoon and then i'm making the homemade chinese for dinner tonight so i might take you along with me on that so yes i don't know when i'm next gonna see you because Obviously, me editing other videos is not very interesting for you to see, but I will see you when I see you whenever I do see you. It is now five o'clock. It is dinner time. Um, it's not actually dinner time. It's time to prepare dinner. I was going to do salt and pepper chips with this salt and pepper seasoning I got from Aldi, but the chips you've got are the fries that I bought the other day. And I don't really feel like you can have salt and pepper fries. Do you know what I mean? So I think I'm going to scrap that. And instead of doing that, I'm going to do egg fried rice. And then I'm doing this crispy chili chicken. But I'm going to do it as beef. So I'm going to do that, but with beef. And then I'm going to do chow mein, but I forgot to get um, chicken out of the freezer. So it's just going to be non um non-meat chow mein but that's fine and then in the freezer i've got this prawn toast from m &S. i'm gonna cook a couple of them to go with it because i've literally had these for ages and i've been meaning to use them and i really want to use them and i'm so excited to use them i just want to go around to it but they can stay in there for now 
because I would just chuck some in the air fryer last minute. So that is today's dinner. I just thought I'd update you. I hate how bad this lighting is. Like it's now pitch black outside. So this lighting is just not the vibe, but I'm gonna get on with dinner. I actually feel like I've excelled myself here. That looks real Chinese, doesn't it? Yeah, James, that looks good. Hello, it is now actually Saturday, but I filmed some clips yesterday when I went for a run and that was literally it. I basically went for a run in the morning, then I came home and got myself ready for the day. And then I was getting picked up to go for a shopping day with my old boss and a customer at my old work. Like we've just become really good friends basically. So we went on a shopping trip, but my friend picked me up was like 20 minutes early. So like I was actually kind of ready to be picked up early, which is good, but it just meant I didn't have time to film a clip, do a little after the day and explain what I was doing on Friday. But I basically went and had a shopping day. Yes, that is my third shopping trip of the week. Yes, that is the third time I've been to Primark this week. Let's not dwell on it. But I went on a shopping trip yesterday. It was so good. We went out for this like bottomless pizza for lunch, which when it got picked me, I thought, mm, bottomless pizza like you know when you think like bottomless stuff like all you can eat sort of thing that was what it was said it was called all you can eat pizza so i was like mm, you know when, like all you can eat buffets they're normally not that great but it actually ended up being like bottomless pizza kind of like bottomless brunch fancy vibes and it was so good they just put around like loads of slices of pizza with like different flavors and you could just like have one slice of each which i really liked because it meant you could like have different flavors rather than just having a whole margarita or something it was really good it was a place called mojo pizza i think i don't know if they had them anywhere else but it was actually so good so i had lunch there went to home bargains went to home sense went to primark it was literally an idea it was a lovely girly shopping day so that is what i did yesterday i did actually pick up a couple of bits so i thought i would quickly do a haul i got a couple of bits in primark but i'm not going to show you them because i'm saving them for a haul but i did obviously get a couple of bits in home bargains so first up i'm obsessed with this i kind of wish i got more but i really didn't need more but i got this little like wicker christmas tree placemat these were like um either £1.50 no sorry one ninety nine or two ninety nine. but these are normally so expensive and I always get tempted by them but I never buy them because I still live with my parents I really don't need placemats but I just saw this and I couldn't walk past it so I thought I'll just get one because obviously I've not moved out yet but when I've moved out I'm going to want them um and obviously like you know home bargain it's one of those things you have to get them when you see them but also like when I move out I don't know whether I'm going to want four placemats or six placemats you know what I mean I didn't know how many I'd want so I thought if I just get one it can be like a center of the table piece rather than like a placemat for every single person does that make sense because i just didn't know actually how many i'm gonna want i can't really like i'm not a psychic i can't look into the future so i thought one will do that will like crave my like satisfaction of wanting one of these so i love that and then i saw this i just couldn't resist it's a dog cracker and every christmas when we have our crackers we always like let the dogs pull them and i always just feel a bit bad for them because they don't have one so i saw this and then i looked on the back and it comes with this like rope toy but all of them just had the rope toy on the back and i was like we really don't need two rope toys so I just picked up one of them and I thought they could share but then when I got home I read on the back that it says colour and content may vary so now I've realised that actually there's probably like different things in each of them I also panicked when I got back as well because the crackers got cats all over it and they do dog crackers and cat crackers and I thought oh no I've picked my two very boisterous very obvious dogs like do you know what I mean they're far from a cat I picked them up a cat cracker but it's, it actually says dog cracker but it's got cats on the picture, which is slightly bizarre. Maybe I picked up a dodgy one, but they're literally covered in cats. I don't know. But this is literally 99p. I thought it was perfect. And it comes with a little dog toy and a gift, like a gift, a hat and a motto. Um, but I might try and pick up another one if I see them in home bargains. I don't really have many home bargains near me, like I've said. But when I'm in Cornwall, I do have one near my house there. And I'm going there next week. So long story short, I'm basically going to try and pick up another one so they can have one each. But I just thought it was such a cute little Christmas idea. And then I also got this. I'm so excited by this. Like, I literally cannot wait. It's called Santa's Munch Mix. This is basically, like, what M&S do. But the ones in M&S are so expensive. But I love things like this. I love, like, the variety of things. This is very similar to that Halloween Munch um, M&S thing. It's toffee-flavoured popcorn with salted caramel peanuts, milk chocolate-coated raisins, and honeycomb with pretzel knots. So it's just, like, this little munch mix as they've called it that just looks delicious like the mix of the sweet and salty the crunchy the soft the chocolate absolutely delicious i love things like this and then the last thing i got that wasn't from primark is actually a little it's the first christmas present i've actually bought this year it's for my brother and i was just having a wander around tk maxx and i just thought this would be perfect for him um it was 
$3.99 instead of £10. It's from the brand Sass & Bell, which do really, really good Christmas, de de Christmas decorations. I have quite a few decorations from this company already on my Christmas tree. But yeah, they were really good priced in TK Maxx. And it's basically a little ginger beer, a little lime and spiced golden rum, which is basically my brother's go-to drink. Like this is my brother's thing. And I feel like it's a little bit niche. It's not like your classic rum and Coke or like vodka and Coke. So the fact that I managed to find a decoration that was ginger beer and spiced golden rum, not just normal rum, spiced golden rum. Do you know what I mean? The whole fact that this is literally what he has in a decoration, I thought would be perfect. Um, just as like a little something to open, like I don't actually know what I'm gonna get him for Christmas. We normally just tell each other what we want and we just get that. Um, so I'll probably just have this as like a little, not like a stocking filler, because we don't do stockings, but you know, just like a little token thing to open. You know, you get like people like chocolate just to have something else to open, that kind of thing. So that is what I picked up yesterday. And now today I've got a pretty boring day. It is firework night and I really would like to go and see the fireworks because I just feel like that's really cozy and cute. But Josh had an operation on Thursday, so I'm gonna be a good girlfriend and I'm gonna be uh, on my nurse duties and go to his. So I'm going to his in a little bit. I'm just gonna have a chill day at his. His brother's home from uni, his sister's home from living in London for the weekend. So we're just gonna have a cozy family weekend, which I'm really looking forward to. And then my parents and the dogs are also on their way home today. So I'm gonna see them tomorrow, which I literally cannot wait for because I've not seen my dogs for three weeks. I can't wait to see them. So I'm just gonna have a very homely, um, family, cozy sort of weekend. Whether I film any vlog clips or not, I don't know. I'll just take you along with me so we do. But that is what I did yesterday. I didn't bring my vlogging camera because I just wanted to like, A, I don't really like vlogging around people I don't normally vlog around. Even though Robin, who I went with, is a literal, <laughs> avid watcher of my videos so um i just didn't really want to vlog and i just thought it'd be nice to like spend time with these people who I haven't seen for a while without bringing the camera and also i've already bought you on a come shop with me this week i didn't think we needed another one so that's why i didn't bring you yesterday but i'll see what i get up to today um but i thought i'd give you a little haul of the couple bits that i picked up yesterday give you a rundown that is where we're at that is what we're doing i will see you in a bit 